Hey, you cutie patooties. We're the Mighty Mischief Menagerie. Or... Mm. How do we make that yeah. happen? Foolish. Mm. Uh, there's no need yeah. to be ghoulish because uh, we're cutie, we're cutie, we're cutie patooties. patooties. I love that. Now, everyone put that patootie aside and get oh. your fangs out. <laughs> we're playing vampire. Oh. Yeah, and this yeah, is yeah. totally canonically the first episode of it Vampire. Is. Never, so nothing ever happened before this. Nope. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing, I mean, we're going to be doing Vampire on Night, but for YouTube, this is going to be two hours of Vampire, and then we'll take a break and we'll do another episode of Vampire. And then the next episode in the playlist is going to be us in the same outfits. Ignore that. No, we're all going to be yourself. Just... <laughs> I'll wear ink shirt. Oh, fine. I think that's my... Awesome. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we're going to be playing Vampire. It's new. It's exciting for us. Um, it's set in the same universe as Chronicles of Darkness uh, with the same characters as the first of this season of Chronicles of Darkness. <laughs> so what we did was is we went through and we had everyone reimagine their character as a vampire to kind of show out, show, show, out, show off how this system can function uh, around humans and monsters and ghoulies. Uh, does anyone have anything they would like to say? Any final words before we fully descend into undeath? Do we start with the same mutate that we had last time? I don't know what you're talking about. There's been no further episodes, but if you have a number, you should keep that number yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have All right. So, the Chronicles of Darkness Tucson is a bit different from the real Tucson, and if you don't live in Tucson, you won't know any better. Things stay open later, the streets are grimier, the sun more intense, things crawling just out of sight, backlit by the moon. And we zoom in as the sun sets on a particularly nice, uh, we'll say, Hills Palazzo, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, would you like to describe your bedroom, Cassandra? <laughs> <laughs> now, keep in mind, you do not have to sleep in a coffin or anything. It's just however safe you want to be while you're asleep. Because <laughs> you can sleep in a bed if you want. Okay, so I'm thinking I have a room in a basement type area, so there are no windows. Um, but it's furnished very lavishly, lush carpet, lush, um, like, you know those, <laughs> you know when there's those, like, lines around the wall? Scotting. Is that called wainscoting? Isn't it? Okay, well, anyway, there's cool patterns on the walls, and there's beautiful drape, even though there's no windows. We gotta Do you have want drapes, fake windows? Oh, okay. You, I didn't you, know can that make, you can make, you can make fake windows that, like, light up with, like, sunlight. Sure. Um, a water feature of some kind, many plants, um, beautiful large bed, California king. Wait, I've heard there's something called an Alaskan king, so I have that. Colorado <laughs> king, Alaskan king. Whichever one is the kingiest king, the that's Alaskan. the one I want. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything bigger than an Alaskan king. I think uh, that's there the biggest. Biggest. There's one more bigger than an Alaskan king. Oh my gosh. Not in the world of dark. Okay. <laughs> Alaskan king is the pretty much. It's my world. <laughs> the color scheme Ooh. is all dark, dark neutrals with um, like dark floral accents, probably. Um, I would say that when I wake up, I am waking with whoever I ate blood off of last. Okay. Um, so like three just random people in the bed? It could be three. <laughs> How many people if would this, you like in the bed? If this is the night after the fall equinox party. It is the night after the fall equinox. Okay, so then, yeah, maybe I have three because it didn't go as well as I'd hoped. So I'm feeling a little bit um, melancholy. So I will wake up melancholy. <laughs> um, I see the other humans. Like, are they... In good condition. They're passed out. Like, I will leave them sleeping. Nobody's dead. <sighs> right. I'll go into my Maya. She's one of one of the other people that lives there. 
uh, Alice Rose. Maya. Alice. Alice, okay. Yeah. Little Red. <laughs> oh, no, I, Little Red's the kid, though. Yeah. Uh, What's, who's Rose the Rose. other other person? Rose. 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 Okay. I'll go into her room um, and... and <sighs> Is she awake? <laughs> uh, she's already at her computer. So, like, you come in, she doesn't even look okay, up. So she's I at her computer. I sit down in a, a chair in her eye line. <laughs> Good morning. It is empirically nighttime. Well, you know, it's a saying. Good morning. I just feel like accuracy is important. Oh, it's not good either. Good, bad, tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Is that tomorrow? Well, I mean, you could say, like, shitty anon. <sighs> shitty anon. <laughs> I like it. It's like old and new. Or shitty nonce, maybe? I'm, I'm not really sure. I could look it up. Okay, maybe later. Um... You have an email from Damon who wants to see you immediately. You wake up. Really? Don't you see that I am in distress? <laughs> I'm, I'm aware of that, yeah. But are you going to ask why? Um, I didn't see you at the party last night. What were you doing? I was DJing the entire night. Oh, okay. Pretend I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I loved your, your set last night. Thanks, uh, you thanks. really didn't talk to me very much, but... You know, I don't like to talk when I'm DJing. I know the mask gets in the way a lot too. Um, yeah, Damien was a menace last night. He made me beg him to come. What was it? what's his problem? All right, you do you know? I, I don't know. Usually, Anon, I'm telling you. <laughs> Usually, you come into my room and 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 talk a lot about what's going on. That's I mean it. it are you under the impression that that goes the other way? Because I usually don't talk. I guess it's wishful thinking from time to time. Okay, well, thanks for not making my shitty Anon less shitty. Do, do you want to talk about it? Yes! Okay. That's why I came in here. Feel, feel, I'm, I'm, I'm just in the middle of this count. Um, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you are really bad at lying. Just, I mean, Count Chocula just met, you know, the Count from Sesame Street, and the, the chemistry is, like, really crazy <gasps> right now. And so, like, I just didn't want to lose that, like, writer's flow. Count Chocula, huh? Well, after his breakup from Spike, I mean, it makes sense that he would rebound. Okay, you're right. You're right. I'll leave you to it. Just know. I'm just really excited to explore puppet gen genitalia, you know? That's just something I'm really looking forward to. Rose, are you trying to say the weirdest thing you can think of so that I'll leave? What, what did I say that was weird? I don't know. Puppet sex is a little weird. Well, one of those a cartoon. Okay. Then it's a no, no one hurts crime? I what guess. I mean, Victimless of, crime? I mean, none of them are real. Okay. All right, I will sh dawdle on my way to Damien's room. You know, a lot of people say that the vampire from Sesame Street doesn't count. I assure you, he does. Yes. With uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Do you want to keep going or should I move to somebody else? And I mean, we can, but if you want to move to someone else. Damien's in his room. office, so. Oh, make sure you spend a blood for waking up. Okay, so I'm standing in front of his door. <sighs> ah, Cassandra. And he has like TV set up in his office to where it looks like you're in a skyscraper. Um, so he has these hyper realistic like 4K televisions that look like a window overlooking New York City because he's that asshole. <laughs> oh look, a bird. Mm -hmm. yes. um, it's an eight-hour loop, Cassandra. So you're gonna see that bird every time you go. <laughs> I like that bird. Mm -hmm. So the party was. Don't care. Okay. Uh, I have something I need you to do. Um, 
That's more important than you whining. Uh, <laughs> shitty or no, is that can't. supposed to be shitty today? I need more friends. Well, okay. it's ironic that you say that because I would like you to become friends with Dahlia's l- new little thing. Raze? She's really cute. Uh, there was way too much attention put on her, and I don't like that. Uh, it, so. There was a lot. Mm-hmm. And she didn't make it better because she was acting real weird. It was fun. So I want you to recruit her for the house. Okay, what kind of bonus? Uh, your discretion. Okay, now, out of uh, character... What is the imp- the social implications of that? Like, is that he me stealing you, her? Mm-hmm. He okay. wants you to steal her from Dahlia. Okay, and then... Okay, got it. And then when I asked how much am I getting paid, you said it was at my discretion? So basically he's saying you can use the credit card attached to Damon's money if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is this, like, super confidential? What do you mean? Like, can I get other people to help me? Well, you're the only, you want Rose's help or no. Little Red? Which you see Little Red playing Game Boy in a bing bag, like off to the side. <laughs> no, no, no. I just wanted to know. Okay, I just. No one outside the house needs to know that that's our. There are such things as secrets. I know that's why I'm asking. I'm trying to remember the things can be secret. You blabbermouth about every plan I put out there. <laughs> and we're both le- learning, right? This is a learning time. How long are you going to learn? No, I'm just saying <laughs> you're learning that I'm going to ask. And you're I'm learning that I ne- need to ask. Well, everyone else in my house is basically a thing on the wall. So I need you to go out and do this. Okay. Okay. So we're cool. You're not mad at me for last night because I I just want to make sure. No, why would I be mad? I don't know because you were like I don't want to come to the party, and I was like, why yeah, do you want to come to the party? Piss off, Stefan. Oh, okay. Why are you trying to piss him off so much lately? I just don't think we need to play nice with them anymore. We have a power base now. He needs to start recognizing us as something that he should be worried about. Oh, very sneaky. That's and he wants Grace too. So, yeah. well, she'll see. Shit, I need to get moving then. Okay, I hope you have the day you deserve. <laughs> that seems kind of <laughs> as you close the door in his face. <laughs> Who would like to go next? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? No. Mortar's pick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Describe your bedroom. (laughs) Mordecai's bedroom is actually on the top floor of the casino and resort. Mm -hmm. Um, As he wakes up, he kicks on the lights, and he's got a regular king bed, but it's with the pillars, and he's got, like, the roof thing on it. A four-poster bed? Yes. Recessed ceiling. It looks like, uh, like a hotel suite. Like a Las Vegas hotel suite. I mean, you do live in a hotel. So yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> and he was like, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to lean into it. Yeah. So we did. Uh, he gets out of bed and decorated around the room are his old uh, championship belts, some MMA gloves, but it's like, you know, it's, it's cased. It's proper. You know, just to remind him of who he is. And uh, he, being that it's now nighttime, morning, but nighttime, he clicks a button on a remote, and the shutters raise in the windows, revealing the city lights of Tucson. And he just kind of takes a moment and enjoys the view of the city he's chosen to make home. <laughs> oh, yes. Hayden is standing where he always stands when you wake up and ignore him. <laughs> With his tablet and his little pen. Yes, Hayden. Uh, would you like to go over last night's events? Please. Um, well, uh, we made contact with Grace. Uh, we had a good interaction with uh, Kelvin. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like that for us. Um, I'm a little worried about what is your other dude's name? Hayden and Vince. I'm a little worried about Vince. He seems a bit standoffish lately. So you might want to talk to him. Um, and 
Morty's in his walk-in closet, like picking out seat pieces. Did you have any questions for me about any information I obtained last night? Yeah. Um, what what new information do we have? And I'm more asking like Jake, you lead the conversation because you have the notes on what he like I... texted you and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rio has to remember five people's stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> There was a gift given. Yes. Um, to Dahlia's latest apprentice. Grace. Uh, she Johannes, was nice. I believe. She was nice. She's nervous, though. Did you get that? Scared. I didn't get nervousness as much as. She seemed like she was trying to be naive. Interesting. Okay. Also, do you think this tie with this shirt, or should we just go top two unbuttoned? Absolutely not, sir. Top's unbuttoned. You're not going to a party. You should be casual today. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you think that was an act? I don't know, sir. Okay. I appreciate the honesty, as always. Of course, sir. Um, what? Was there some sort of... I, I passed on the rousing of the party. Um, any events noteworthy in there? I did not. Okay. I'm sure we'll hear about that anyways, if there was. I'm sure we... Did I contact anyone for you today, sir? Hmm. Um, should probably speak with Kelvin at some point. Uh, but nothing urgent, no. If anything comes up, let me know. I'll send him a casual text message from you. I appreciate that. While you shower. Thank you. And then we just said his name. Other Caden or Vince? Vince. And then make sure at some point today that I do have a sit down with Vince and a touch base. Okay. I will put him on driver duty. That way you'll have uh, one on one. I, my head would not be attached to my body if it weren't for you. That is more true than you know, sir. Don't forget the piano wire incident three months ago. I'm doing my best to forget, although it would behoove me to remember that. <laughs> Thank you. Let me vet who comes to visit you in the mornings. Speaking of which, um, there is a blonde here. She looks slightly like your ex-wife, so I'm not sure if we should have a tarp. Remembering the piano wire incident, let's be let's play this one safe. Tarp. <laughs> he goes and gets a tarp out and just kind of like. And, like, puts the tarp on the bed (laughs) before inviting her in. She's very clearly been dominated, and she's confused. So it's... And then he leaves the room. You don't have to... We're going to dot, 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 fade away to that. But uh, that's your morning. Is it sex? What? I'm assuming he's going to eat her, and he kind of looks like his ex-wife. So I was like, it might get... Okay. I understood what that all meant. (laughs) I mean, there might be some shower sex first. It's up to you. <laughs> you know, it's in blood shower. I don't know. I think it makes more sense to like get dirty and then get clean afterwards. Yeah, no, yeah. we we busted the tarp out. There, <laughs> the shower will be put to use. Oh, the, okay, because I was like, the tarp is for killing her and wrapping her body. Like, well, so you don't get blood on the sheets. You're right. I forgot we were a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a shirt quote. Okay. Would anyone else like to go? I'm down. Sure. Would you like to describe uh, your bedroom? Sure. Um, so, Kelvin does uh, maintain an address and residence, um, but does not generally stay there. Um, it is the same address and residence that he had previously. Uh, he has, however, um, converted uh, uh, one of the old morgue rooms from when the hospital was being converted um in the construction while they were moving out all of the cold storage pieces and just leaving this big empty space um he got some things um removed so they fell off the schedule it's my thought process uh and basically it still looks like uh a, a morgue in that there are still like his desk is a big metal 
table that would have been used for bodies. Um, there's like empty spaces in like recesses in the walls where the storage used to be that have now been filled with bookcases um, on one wall and then a bed on the other wall. He's brought in a bunch of different like rugs and kind of overlaid them so that the space has like a comfortable homey feel. Lots of overstuffed leather chairs um, just because it's about, in my mind, it's about four times the size of this room. So like if you just made this room a square and then put another one and two more, mm -hmm. it's that size roughly. Um, and so there is also uh, a cat wandering around because oh, he was allergic in life and is no longer. So <laughs> we finally get one and it was a lot easier to handle than a dog, <laughs> all things considered. Uh, What's his name? Milo. Aww. Oh, Calvin and Milo. Um, black cat, of course, uh, with some orangey yellow eyes um and as he wakes up his little timer goes off uh, and all the lights in the room fade up very slowly um which he had his assistant set up for him um based on his waking schedule and immediately rolls over in bed and checks his phone wearing uh his matching top and bottom pajama set that are gray with uh very fine white pinstripes <laughs> Um, I can't think of who would have texted you because I assume you're. Oh, there's not. There's not. He just. I just always check it. Mm. Um. Yeah. I say first. At first moment, he is able to wake up. He is awake. Yeah. Mm. Um. Make sure you spend your blood for waking up. Yes. Yeah. I remember to do that on my own. Stretching, yawning, he grabs his robe, um, checks his emails to make sure that uh, I had ordered some um, new flowers uh the night before to be delivered to stefan's home to replace the arrangements that were already there figuring he's having a little bit of a rough morning some nice like black and so you have like things like the... delivery notification exactly and, like, like that's all been done it's you've got uh, messages from the house staff for stefan they set it all up so stuff like that is coming perfect yeah. excellent um you also do get a text message from mordecai that says hey sup bud This might be a shitty thing to do, but tell me if I'm overstepping. Mm. Hayden, Morty knows if he wants to talk to me, he's more than welcome to. <laughs> Send. Space dash Dr. Calvin Connors. I do apologize, Dr. Connors. He did ask me to send a casual text. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair. What does he need? Uh, I will have him contact you if you are available later in the evening. Uh, I will be on shift uh, from roughly, and I'll give him the times. Yeah, as you too. know, um, say again? You have dinner with Grace or Robert. Yes. Um, as you know, um, the shift time is fairly flexible. However, I cannot move a current appointment that I have at 9 to 11. Well, Morty probably won't be ready to talk any kind of business until at least 3 a.m. Do you think that would be too late for you? Sounds great. Tell him I'm more than happy to. All right. I'll have him uh, casually call you around midnight. Um, so that he can set it up as if it was his idea. This conversation never happened. Have a lovely day, Hayden. You as well. Um, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... You have your own Kelvin. <laughs> I... But I want to be friends with Kelvin, not my Kelvin. <laughs> I don't think Hayden and Kelvin like each other very much at all. <laughs> I try to be nice to him out of professional courtesy because I understand that he is a me. <laughs> Me. But I'm aware that he does not like me particularly. <laughs> um, I also then go ahead and um, if this works again, tell me if I'm overstepping at any point as I'm going. Um, I left one of the just the three tiered cold storage units there mm -hmm. um, and open up a bottom and take out a blood bag and just start sipping as I'm getting myself okay. situated. I mean, that won't be one blood bag isn't enough to yeah. get you going, but like, I, yeah, I feel like he just kind of like has them around yeah. to. Um, I'll go ahead and. Um, shoot Catherine a text. Okay. Um, and just ask if she's still at the hospital. Um, she's, she's like head of the hospital now, right? She's an administrator, yeah. She's an administrator. Um, she's like, nope, uh, just finishing up drinks with a, um, a colleague, uh, if you need me. Um, nope, all good. Uh, we'll be out from nine to 11 minimum. Just heads up. Hope you had a lovely drinks. Should I be at the restaurant in case you need me, or just keep my phone on? Keeping your phone on is totally fine. Appreciate it. I don't think you'll be needed, but uh, thanks for the offer. All right, because this dude's hot, so I think I'm going to bang him. 
<laughs> There's going to be like a gap where Kelvin types and erases several things <laughs> and then settles on get it girl line break dash Dr. Kelvin Connors. No, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm trying and I love you. Be safe. It's all those ellipses that you see for a long time and they go away and then the dot 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 because you see someone it's writing. Like a... <laughs> and then the dots again. Uh, and then away. I will say, uh, speaking of, uh, I'll have my phone on me if you need me later. I should be fine, Kelvin, but I will let you know. I know you can handle yourself, but I just like to make sure you know. Also, you haven't talked to Barry in three days and you know how he gets. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Period. <laughs> um, so you, I don't know if you guys had set up a time. So do you want to message? Um, I think we had said nine because her dinner. I had set up her dinner with Stefan for eleven. Okay. So I think the conversation was he'd love to have dinner with you at eleven. I would recommend arriving at nine. <laughs> um, and I will just um, shoot. Barry, a quick text from Catherine's, um, and just say, um, I'm sorry, you know how the celestial calendar gets, period. I'm more than happy to talk. Um, oh, I'm sorry. After sorry. It's a message from my oh, husband. No, you're fine. Go one more time. Um, <laughs> uh, just texting Barry, I'm sorry, comma, I know I've been out of pocket for a few days. You know how the celestial calendar gets, period. Let's set something up for tomorrow. Okay. How about Top Golf? <clears throat> eight o'clock work uh eight thirty perfect <laughs> i'm gonna add it to my calendar because um, now i have not nothing in can i can make i can add things to calendars now <laughs> uh, and then i will that's right you bought a dot of computers um apparently i didn't but i'm gonna i think maybe see about moving one of those into computers um, it's fine it's fine uh so i will shoot grace a text um i do still have nathan i guess yeah. but i will shoot grace a text and instead of adding that to my phone i'm gonna put a post-it note and there's like a stack of post-it notes on the desk and every time i have to do something that i don't know how to do i just write it on the poster and add it to it because nathan will come in it roughly within the hour to come grab them. Nice. Uh, I will text Grace um, and just say, uh, how do you feel about modern Sonoran? You don't have to answer right away. Mm -hmm. and I will, I think, probably just get dressed at that point, uh, pull out another one of the cold storage units above the one that have the blood in it, where all the clothes are nicely, neatly folded take one out, steam a shirt, get buttoned up and dressed. Um, it is uh, basically a day off for me from Stefan because he'll be resting, I'm assuming, after the party. you get like a little bit of a lapse, maybe, um, aside from anything that he picks up in the meantime. Um, so I I am also going tieless with a top button and, button, uh, and so a sweater good. over my Oxford instead of a jacket. People have a new top. <laughs> and he also is he's a little more modern than he used to be um so it is like uh just a nice deep red shirt with a black um cardigan um but he's wearing like dark gray joggers instead of they're they're not a sweatpant material they're still like a docker material but they're modern cut oh, see. <laughs> would you like to go or should you go ahead um i think i can go sure okay so um Dahlia, not Dahlia, I saw the name there. Grace is in a house outside of, out in the desert um, near West Campus. Um, kind of like Anklum, mm -hmm. Gracewood area. Um, one of the older neighborhoods, but still the cookie cutter houses, but um, kind of on the end of a cul-de-sac. And uh, as day is breaking um i'm sitting on the edge of the bed um on the top floor again the you've got the blackout drapes um really heavy drapery and kind of sitting contemplating she's got her head in her hands her hair is kind of um folding or falling over her face as she's thinking and uh really quiet. There's really nobody else in the home with her. So she's on her own. Um, and then her phone buzzes. Looking, how do I, Newsom, what is that? 
<laughs> New Sonoran. Um. But you don't. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if it's somebody from Sonora. I don't know if it's. No, it's new to Sonora. Right. Then what is it? Um. I'll try anything once is probably what she'll respond back to uh, Kelvin. And yeah, she's just kind of uh, puttering around the house, thinking about the ins- the events of the evening prior. There is a small envelope on your kitchen table mm-hmm. um, uh, addressed to you in Dahlia's handwriting. Uh, it is a new protection brooch. A brooch in the envelope. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'll take it out. What does it look like? Uh, it's you. You're used to them. She okay. sends these two things to you. It just protects you from like blood bonds and like some magics and stuff okay. like that. Yep. It's just it's just crumb shit. Okay. You know what I mean. So I'll just kind of tack it on the inside of. So she wears black pretty much exclusively, um, and so <laughs> gonna seem a little. Maybe a little odd and out of character, but she'll have some different kind of enamel pins along her jacket that it doesn't seem like really hardcore vampire or whatever. So she's got like almost fun kind of enamel pins and things. And kind of like my laptop kind of, you know. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so she'll just attach the brooch to kind of mix in mm-hmm. along with all of those. She could even like face it inward if she wanted. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a possibility. Um uh do you go to your fridge at all? I mean you don't use your <laughs> kitchen very often, I'm assuming. No, probably not. Not this time or not today. Maybe. Do you need me to go to the fridge? <laughs> um no, I don't need you no. to. I don't think I don't think Grace would go to the fridge, at least I'm not right now, especially if she's expecting to have dinner later. I'll text back um as it goes off again. With the message apologies comma i should have been clear uh are you consuming food this evening question mark so it is possible for vampires to eat food you just have to spend a vitae mm-hmm. uh, and you have to get rid of it like yeah. it's it possible to go to a restaurant Injected. enjoy the the act of eating food in public and then just get rid of it later. That is possible. The getting rid of it is the part that kind of concerns, like, that's what we're going to, you know, stay to I mean, on that. Yeah, no, 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 nobody wants an extended vomiting scene. It's fine. <laughs> um, to be polite, of course. Yeah, so I'll respond. I'll respond back, like, of course. Um, I don't want to offend my brother. Oh, uh, excellent. I will order a variety so you can see what's available. Uh, so you'll be ready for your second meal. Thank you. Uh, and I'll give her the address for uh, Panka. Fancy. <laughs> We're, I mean, I work for royalty. She is royalty. You know? <laughs> Even though I don't quite live like it. I'm not going to make the comment. <laughs> Anything else for you? Um, Are you just going to get ready? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just uh, getting ready, thinking about the events of the night prior, um, and kind of doing a play-by-play, anticipating what this conversation, not only with Stefan, but with Kelvin, might uh, might be. So... Uh, also keep in mind, you guys don't have to shower or go to the bathroom or anything like that. Like you wake up as not Gosh. thinky as you did yesterday. <laughs> if you're covered in blood, maybe. But you know. Can I have had the requisite four bags? Because I'm planning on going to dinner tonight. Uh, if you would like to, there would only be one. Yeah, that's okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you want to off camera do that. Seems so time consuming, just dipping. <laughs> well, I think that's why he does it as soon as he wakes up. He gets a bag and starts so that he can kind of keep sipping I as he's going. You're a vampire with a camel back. Oh, <laughs> God. It's just like right here. Oh, like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> so thick. Oh. Oh, yeah, that especially that when cold. Gotta make the big mouth bites. Yeah. <laughs> the valves are like that thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I just feel like, like, like imagine. Moment, it's just because you have to bite the end to make it work. <laughs> just imagine it's trying natural. to drink like four pints of like corn syrup out of like a, it's just so much the camel <laughs> i just mean even like just sitting and like watching tv or like mm. answering emails or something you just have it hanging from your mouth as you suck on it it should be so much that's exactly what he's doing right? <laughs> just keep it in your shirt pocket with yeah, yeah. Like... yeah. <laughs> you're the weirdest vampire <laughs> There is not a single item of clothing with bloodstains on it because any time that he makes a spill, he replaces it immediately. <laughs> like, burns it. and replace. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to describe Michael's bedroom? Um, Michael's bedroom is very sparse. Um, it's in the basement of like this is Victorian house. Um, the elaborate catacomb-like basement. Yeah, he probably just like found a corner and like found some. I don't know exactly what it looks like. There, so when I used to work property management, there was this warehouse that had a basement. And that basement had a sub basement where someone had like built this like wooden structure inside of it. And so it's probably just like plywood, like a plywood cube that he just like built in like a random corner of this like crypt. I mean, as a vampire, you don't have to sleep comfortably. You know what I mean? Like, it's right. one of those things where you literally just die every morning. Yeah, so. no. He <laughs> had, like, built a cube so he had, like, a little bit of privacy. And, like, that's pretty much it. Um, wakes up. Um, what? I, I just had managed to not eat any of this kettle corn, and then Margaret mm. put some too close to me. Oh, yeah. No, I put the for you. <laughs> um, I think he points up and goes into the main house and goes to find Victus. Uh, before you go into the main house, uh, right outside your door is a uh, rat holding a birthday card. Oh, mm. He's on his hind legs and he's just kind of holding it like this. I grab it and pat him on the head. And then open it. You had asked Ratsack for some kind of information, but I cannot remember what you wanted to know from Ratsack. And he was about, mm. well, so I'd asked about her, but I think I had also asked about the uh, wand or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so the birthday card has um, uh, Grace's address on it, mm. like where she uh, sleeps for the night. Um, uh, she wears some kind of thing that Dahlia gives her on the inside of her jacket every night. So she's got that. Um, uh, Ratsack also says that whatever that thing was, didn't you like chuck it somewhere? You like threw it away, right? I don't remember. Yeah, you I think you went to like park. a park. Yeah. And you like sat there with it and then just chucked it into the night or whatever. Something like that. So there's a description of that. And it's all just kind of written in like just random, like his handwriting changes as he's writing all over the the inside and the back of this mm -hmm. birthday card. And then the rat's just kind of sitting there waiting for you to finish. <laughs> um, uh, I will commit as much of it as I can in memory. And then I expect that I get a card you know, a couple different pieces, and then hand it to the rat. Mm -hmm. I assume he's going to eat it. Uh, yes, that, and uh, you you prick your finger and give the rat a drop of your blood because it's a ghoul rat. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, no, let him again. And he goes about. To, he kind of like takes the card into your room and then starts. Yeah. <laughs> I will close the door so he has some privacy. <laughs> um, Nobody likes to be watched. And then I will wander up to the main house and look for Victus. Uh, Victus is there kind of like pretending to read a book by a, a uh, fake fireplace. Mm. Um, uh, it is the, the, the nicest thing anyone got him for his birthday was one of those like TV fireplaces. Mm. <laughs> he fucking loves that thing. Mm. <laughs> and so he's just kind of sitting there reading a book next to it, pretending to not notice that you've entered. What's what's the book today, sir? 
Who cares? He kind of just like puts it down. <laughs> That's fair. Um, quiet place looks very cheerful today. Yes, it does. I told you my grandma had one of those, right? And it's like her favorite thing in her apartment. A fireplace? No, a fake one like this. Mm. I never knew my grandma. She died long before I was born. Mm. That's crazy. I haven't talked to her in a long time either. What is your agenda for the evening? Um, I was going to do some more uh, research reconnaissance. Um, and is the rat man coming back to you at all? Uh, yeah, he, uh, I have an address, and also it seems like she threw, she got something last night, like a... Yes, the, the box. That yeah, uh, in. she got rid of it. Hmm. Maybe a prank? Some kind of cruel joke? She was made here, yes? She was embraced in Tucson? I assume so. You assume? What have you been doing? Find out, Michael. That's what I'm planning on doing tonight. There you go. Do I need to hold your hand and make you a sandwich? I don't like sandwiches. I don't understand why we're still having this conversation. I will bow to him and leave. And Michael? Yes, sir? Bring me home something maternal. Maternal? Yes. Preferably proper. Understood. Can do. But towards the end of the evening, I plan on sleeping beside her. Yes, sir. I'll leave. <laughs> What? He's a creepy fucking kid. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, how old? I'm 18. Like, no, no, no. Victus. Oh. Victus is, is a creepy kid. kid. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm not. Yeah. Well, so so Victus comes from a culture where you were an adult at like 13, 14. Right. So he is an adult by his culture, but he is 13, 14 years old. He's, he, but he presents at like 14 years yeah. old? Yeah. Okay. He is a skinny 14 year old and uh, wears a tailored clothing. And he has like a sheep skull that he likes to wear mm -hmm. to parties. And he, he is ancient Viking realness. That is upsetting. Yes. Yeah. And he's been alive for a long time. Yeah. Um, Nobody's really sure. I mean, like, the older the vampire is, like, the less willing they are to tell you actually how old they are. Yeah. Uh, there is a couple yeah. really old people in Tucson. Victus, um, Victus and Dahlia probably being the oldest, because they don't look like modern humans. You know what I mean? Like, so. Hmm. Yep. All right. So the world is your oyster. Uh, you guys tell me what's going on now. Oh goodness. Um, um okay, so I would have hurriedly gotten ready. What time is it? Um I would have gotten up. So I'm assuming sunset is around 637. So you would have gotten up when the sun went down. Okay, so um after talking to Damien, I'm gonna get ready for the Damon. day. What? Not Damien, Damon. Damon. I'm gonna get ready. I'm going to do, I think, like a menswear look. Um, I think, like, what time of year is it? It's fall, it's right? Fall, it's huh? fall. Yeah, yeah. It's fall. Okay, so it's still warm. So it's like a linen and it's a like, it's not a light color. It's a dark beige. Um, big shades. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I am going to call Grace unless I know where she lives. I don't think you would know where she lives. Okay. We call I think we did exchange phone numbers, didn't we? Yeah. Or you gave me your phone. I number. gave you. I got my your phone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, I'll look at my phone a little perplexed. It's like, why okay. is all these people missing? I am just. What did? Why am I? So, oh, so it makes popular. sense. Hello. Hello. Where are you? Um, at at home. 
Where's your home? <laughs> That's right out the gate. Wow. Okay. It's a critical personal question. <laughs> <laughs> she basically asked, what color are your pubes? Oh my God, I want to bring you a gift. <laughs> I, I'll i already be out and about this evening. How about I let you know where we're going? Maybe you can meet me out for drinks. Um, I am in the car right now. I'm wanting to come right to you. I want to be your chauffeur. <laughs> and with silence on the phone. I like to say uh, something charming, but to damn if I know what would be charming to you. Pretty Let's see. Say, say something in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my brain goes to like bridesmaids. <laughs> it's like it's okay, Spanish. Okay, good. <laughs> um but it's like uh I... Ruby Bar. <laughs> like, yeah. Um I'm, I say so, like maybe there's some sort of phrase in Spanish that is about female friendship. Can we say I oh maybe I quote a Mexican poet who was a woman who talked about female friendship i can make an intelligence role if you feel like i need to be doing that <laughs> you know sure. what give it to me <laughs> give me um academics plus uh you're thinking it up on the spot so we'll do wits wits plus academics <laughs> okay let's do where's my where are my wits? They're Where are my wits go? They're about me somewhere. I don't have wits written in here, but that's int whiz. That's not whiz would be wits. Whiz. Okay. Cool. Riz? I think you just <laughs> you said it. plus academics. <laughs> yes. And remember, there is a negative if you don't have any dots. Okay, so I'll go ahead and um, spend a will point. A willpower, all right. Because so, I think that, that we, uh, an intelligence skill is at like a minus three. three. Okay, so if I spend a willpower, that just negates that negative. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, two. <laughs> so you succeed in coming up with the the poetic line that you were looking for okay <laughs> okay now now having said that do you hate me extra because i'm being super white right now <laughs> i mean I'll... you're trying so i get it <laughs> um i just I don't really give out my address to people who i've just met the night before i mean i think you can appreciate like the the environment that we find ourselves in it's nothing against you i just i need some privacy at least for a little while all right you're gonna play hard to get i get it um okay well as soon as you are leaving let me know where you're going i want to meet up with you i have a gift i just want to welcome you to town well i know you've been here but you know what i mean thank you that's very thoughtful of you okay i'll talk to you later i'll talk to you wherever <laughs> <laughs> okay after hanging up with her is there someone i could call that would tell me where she lives oh my god <laughs> um you know you didn't add any like computer people you, you could try no just like my my social connections like when i know somebody who works for dahlia who would know where she put this woman up or something like that the best would probably be Kelvin, because he's the attendant for the prince, who is her sister. Okay. And I didn't hear, do you guys happen to know if I heard about the plans that you were no, making? No, they were alone. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we were around for the dinner. I can't wait to ask her until she was alone. I don't know. Did we still work together before? I don't think we did, so I wouldn't think to call you probably. And I know Kelvin's working with Stefan, so okay, I'm gonna take need to take a break. But I, that, I'm trying to find a way to find her, is I guess what I'm trying. To do. How did you come across your house? Did that come through Dahlia, or did you go through normal channels? No, I would think it would come through Dahlia. Yeah. I was gonna say if she got through normal channels, then Damon would know where she lives. But yeah, no, Dahlia put me up. Um, 
if she doesn't live downtown, the Carthians might know where she lives. So that would be Mordecai, the Carthians. Okay. Okay, so... I'm just saying who you as a character might think of to call. Yeah, I'm one of them, but I'm not sure. You're not a Carthian. A what? A Carthian is, is Mordecai's group. Right. I'm not that. I know that. Yeah. So, okay. Do I, okay, so now knowing what they're, do what, what do I know about where they live? He lives in a casino complex uh, in the south of town, not really in town, but kind of overlooking it. And then his address where he entertains people is near the U of A. Okay, so I'm going to call Kelvin while I head to Mordecai's casino. That's going to be a long drive. Okay. So he's basically where the casino of the sun. Um... Okay, I guess I could call him then as I go to Kelvin's house. Okay. If I know where Kelvin lives. Uh, I think my address is, is open. Yeah. yeah. Like if you've been to Vampire Things before, I think I've... I'm sure you've had like a dinner party or something that you've invited yeah, them like to. planning for parties together, getting together beforehand so I can give you all of Stefan's requests. But do you give your public address or your private address? Like, do you have address. an office? Okay. Or... So this, basically this house. Okay. So, yeah, Calvin still has the same house as before. <laughs> okay. So, ring, ring. Uh, hello. Good morning. How are we doing? So far, so good. How are you, Cassandra? Um, well, I feel like last night's party could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. So, I don't know. What do you think? I wouldn't fret. I think it was a great time. And, uh... You know, it. I hear it ended well, and like I said, I had a blast. Everyone seemed to love uh, Grace. She was kind of the center of attention. Oh but, my god, you read yeah. my mind through the telephone lines because I am looking for Grace. Do you know where she lives? Would you tell me if you did? I would tell you if I did. I would tell you that probably shouldn't give out that info. Unfortunately, though, I don't know where she lives. All right, and choosing to believe you, I would have gone to you straight for the information so I could look into your face, but I don't want to drive all the way out to your so. Yeah. I understand, and that's why I'm attentive to my phone, because not everyone has the time to make the drive. All right, well, you make the drive to me sometime, and yeah, we'll have fun. You know what? We can do that. <laughs> all right, Um. well, if I find out where Grace is, I will give you the information. I hope you will do the same for me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and I go to Calvin's, I guess. I think if, if, he's you, still there. if you headed over not long after you got up, we're arriving at about the same time. Okay. Oh my god. What good luck. How are you doing? Well, what do I owe this all <laughs> Okay, so I feel like last night went really badly and. I'm just trying to gauge. If you're feeling like because of Stefan it went badly, I wouldn't I wouldn't put that on yourself. It's entirely a David thing. I mean, I understand. We report, but if... I am so annoyed with him. Why did he make me look so bad? I just you know, it's we've lived together a long time and sometimes I just feel like he doesn't appreciate me. And all that I do. But anyway. It's Sandra. Okay. You and I I have to have a very specific skill set that is recognizing when we're being yelled at or in the direction of. And if anything, I think any yelling in your direction last night was just that. I think your execution was flawless. I think it was beautiful. It was everything that was asked for and expected. I'm... Okay, the pumpkin guts are just because they're old. Yeah, you know, sometimes you try things and they don't work out, but I think that's what's great about being immortal, because we just, there are just so many things we can try. Exactly, and I think that it was a really fun event for the mortals in the present, and I, you know, if they're having a good time, I think that helps. Yeah, it does. It makes the blood taste better, I've always found. Do you want to come in? Yes, can I? Please. I'm really hoping that you're about to that you're going to see Grace tonight, and that maybe I can join you. I say this after I'm already inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like stops midway across the living room. 
10 o'clock. Oh my god, your place is beautiful. Have I been in here before? Wait. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. We've established that oh you've been god. here before. Oh my god, that painting gets me every time. Do you want it? Oh, no, I like seeing it in your space. I don't, I don't see it very often, but I'm more than happy to... If you don't see 10 o'clock, would 10 o'clock work for you? I'm looking at downtown. Oh my god, okay, that sounds wonderful. I'll just grab a quick bite with you, and what do you think? Um, I think you that have sounds... somebody around here, right? <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> oh, right. I forget. You are very okay. I'm sorry. Not no, 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 rude. not at all. Um, so, uh, another identical black cat comes wandering Aww, through the house here. Oh my gosh, yay, um, hey, baby. I reach down and scritch it and kind of scoop it up, which it doesn't seem super happy about, but tolerates. <laughs> um, so, 10 o'clock at Penka, does that work for you? Okay. I, if you're planning on eating tonight, it's a great place to do so. Okay, that sounds great. And Grace will be there? Yes, indeed. Okay, awesome. All right, I really appreciate your help. I want to see you later. Cassandra. Oh, yeah. Yes. Just a... I'm happy to do this. Mm. Because it's not often that I have something that I can offer you back, and you've been very kind to me. Mm -hmm. May I ask why? You know, there's just not a whole lot of women in my life. And I'm feeling like I'm lost for that kind of energy. Rose is such a weirdo. I try, just this morning, I tried to talk to her, and she's just like, she's in her fan fiction. It's, it's fine. Anyway, you know, I just, she's a young vampire. I just feel excited for her. She, there's a lot of learning she's going to go through. I just want to be there for her. And, has, and she's really resistant already, but um, I think she's going to come like around. me a manipulation plus subterfuge. <laughs> and you may do uh, composure plus subterfuge if you would like. I would like. <laughs> Do you have a dice roller on your phone? Oh. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just scouting the dice. Oh, again. does my does my specialty come in on this one? I, I'm not doing it. Again? Lying. Oh no. I'm not doing it, though. So. It would be discerning lying, so yeah. it would be a specialty for. Yes. Ooh. Only one success. I know one success. Um, so you both feel like uh I feel like you would get a sense for, you both know you're not telling the whole truth to each other. Like, that he has a reason for asking, and you know that she's not being 100%, but that's common. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. like, I'm going to get you a gift. Uh, uh, I I but, uh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Great. She just peels out. <laughs> 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 I call, best on life. I'm gonna call Mordecai. Hayden uh, sighs deeply and hands you your phone again. <laughs> ah, hello. Hey there. I'm so sorry. I know I'm supposed to have waited for your call for a few hours. Apologies. Um, I give Hayden a puzzling look. <laughs> That's maybe why Hayden hates me. <laughs> Correct about all this. <laughs> well, I'm learning that for the first time. Sorry, continue. I haven't talked to Cassandra today. Have I talked to Cassandra? Yes. Yeah, she called me 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. Would you be open to sharing what that was about? With most people, no. With you, absolutely. Hey, um, like... <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear, Hayden, it's Kelvin. It's fine. <laughs> This is why Kelvin gets away with anything. <laughs> um, she asked me for information, and if you talk to her, I'm assuming she asked you for the same information. Can neither confirm nor deny, but I think we're in agreement. A certain address. A s oh, no, no address. Oh, okay. That is interesting. Um, uh, no, mine was for a meeting. Hmm. Which, I'm curious about, have you had a meeting? No, none yet. I haven't really spoken to anyone else since the party. Um, Hayden, I don't have any meetings on my schedule, do I? 
Uh, Kelvin, later this evening, you're going to call him later to set it up. Mm. <laughs> if you're afraid, if, if you're available, he has a schedule. <laughs> if, 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 he he can tune out. Oh, I'm lucky. If you're available around eleven, perhaps the three of us could get drinks. You, me, and Cassandra. It seems that we have some common interests. I think we should reschedule the 3 a.m. one that you're going to set up at 12. Shit. <laughs> I... Uh, speakerphone. <laughs> Sorry, Hayden. It's fine. <laughs> you know things move and change. I just don't understand why we make a schedule if we're just going to change the schedule, but it's fine. One of us has a lovely master and the other... Has a discerning and choosy master. I will not, uh, Brooke, are you speaking of my master that way, Kelvin? I don't think. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> um, yes, <I'm>... just... <laughs> Calling him lovely? <laughs> uh, yeah, tell me where to be. Although you guys are more than welcome. I know it's a drive. You guys are more than welcome here and... You know, food will be on the house, of course. I'm... You know, I haven't been out there in a while. I'm not opposed. I'll see if Cassandra's amenable to it. Okay. Uh, if not, I will let you know where we are. Uh, Is just... Cassandra also coming, Kelvin? Hayden, I think this is a part of the plan that is... I just need to know if I should set up a private room with the things that she likes. Maybe Blackjack? She likes Blackjack. I mean, if you'd like to set up the room, but I haven't talked to her about it yet. It's fine. I'll take care of it. Some of us. No, are we're able. not. We're not doing that, Aiden. I appreciate you and your call, but mute. Aiden likes me. <laughs> See, I'm the only one he likes. <laughs> um. He thinks you're good for more guys. <laughs> oh my God! Is he trying to set that up? I mean, everyone <laughs> wants to see their parents get back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it sounds like I've got plans tonight around midnight, you said? Um, midnight's perfectly fine. All right. Just uh, keep me posted, and if anything changes, let me know as well. Thank Actually, you. Actually, if anything changes, we should tell Hayden first, and then I'll find out. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Calvin. Thank you, Mordecai and Hayden. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, I have uh, entertainment. As always, my head wouldn't still be attached to my body. I'm aware. <laughs> Courting the prince's subordinates is a very quick way to lose it, if you ask for my advice. Who said anything about courting? We're keeping up business relations. Yeah. Also, I'm not courting Cassandra. I was speaking about Kelvin. I, in your professional opinion, am I professionally allowed to have friends? Of course. Okay. But I feel you will regret becoming friends with that snake in the grass. Well... People in my position usually regret making friends, period. Too true, sir. If you, uh, since we are changing the schedule, if you wish to speak with Virgil, he is in the kennels. Not Virgil. Uh, Vince. 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 I will... That's a good call. I will head down through the kennels now. Very well, sir. You get the deaf car dealer. <laughs> Let's see here. You tap him. Well, so it's just so he can then at the meeting, or like you can speak freely in front of the car dealer because he is deaf. <laughs> Forget the fact that he reads lips. <laughs> Hayden does his job very well. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Um, would you like to call Grace now? 
have Reese's number. <laughs> or I gave her my card. <laughs> um, well, my card has a piece of paper with my number in on it. Yeah. Um, I am, however, gonna go drive by her house. I know where she lives. No one catch that? I don't know where she lives. The rat gave me her Oh, yeah, oh, that's okay. the birthday card. Everyone should have been nicer to rats, eh? That's how we did it. We're just gonna run. I know I'm the only one I'm not friends with. <laughs> uh, yes, so I will go drive by her house. Okay. Are you like getting out of the car and like knocking or? Um, I'm just gonna drive by first. Okay. What does he see as he drives by your house? Um, I mean, just a cookie cutter neighborhood. Um, no cars in front of the house. Um, drapes are drawn, porch lights on. Uh, maybe. A very faint sliver of light from one of the upstairs rooms. Okay. And then I feel like there would be some kind of, um, no, because it, well, in defiance of the homeowners association, there is a vampiric garden gnome on the front lawn, <laughs> just like a little, a little Halloween gnome <laughs> that could be, you know, like, oh, well, we're getting ready for Halloween. It's, you know. Festive. Yeah. It is September. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Plus, your neighbor puts up that awful skeleton display with the stripper pole every oh year. Oh my so. god. <laughs> well, I don't know yet. No. But I'm sure it will be up. You should definitely eat him. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's it. Are your neighbor? Do you have neighbors like? Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's other my, lights on. Yeah. yeah okay. So my house was like at the end of the cul-de-sac. Okay. Um, so you kind of have to drive around through the cul-de-sac to come back out. But yeah, there's there's other houses, not terribly close, but. Okay. Um. I will leave. And out of my herd that I have, well, I know I'm hitting one who's pregnant. Oh, I... uh, give me a dice roll. What am I rolling? Just a uh, dice roll. Just a... Yeah. That's right. He asked for three with heavy nitrous. Um, no. No? Okay. <laughs> Where do you find pregnant women? <laughs> Can't go to a bar. No. Nope. Uh, Call Rat Sack. <laughs> Oshkosh forgot. But it's so late. Like, they're all they alone. Like baby gap? Walmart? They're closed. What about, like, drug oh. dealers would know, or, like, slum peoples would know, like, they're homeless. Planned Parenthood. Awful. <laughs> As a recently reunited <laughs> mother. You just search OBGYNs. You go in search of a pregnant woman. How about yes. this? And yeah. we just kind of fade to yeah. black. Oh, no. <laughs> fallen. Yeah. Yeah. How does compulsion work? Uh, so you have to have dominate. Okay. Dominate. So you do not naturally have the ability to, to okay. compulse someone unless you have dominate. Okay. I used to own the host to get a reservation. <laughs> um, then yeah, I will go in search of someone maternal. 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 He said preferably pregnant. He didn't say she had to be. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, but I'll, you know, for like an hour. Denny's would be a good place to find a pregnant waitress. Oh, Sam. <laughs> sure. Go to Denny's. Hitting the Waffle House. Oh, Waffle House. That's where we're going. <laughs> anyway. He likes when they have a little fight in them. There's oh, God. Like, the there's already, and I'm actually yeah. already over on that side of town. There's That's a Waffle true. House by the freeway there. Yeah. So yep. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, does anyone else have anything to do before your 9 p.m.? Goodness. I also, I assume that I have Cassandra's number. 
I mean, in a kind of like vampire directory sense, you yeah. know what I mean? Like Victus would have you call yeah. Damon, and Damon would probably have you call Cassandra. So I probably would have also, like, on my way to this, just been like text and be like, hey, just wanted to say fun party again. Sorry the pumpkin wrestling didn't work out, but hey, maybe probably- next year you can call me. Hello? Hi. Oh my God, it's so good to hear from you. Uh, hey. Thank you for what you said about the pumpkin stuff. Like, you know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was cute. Yeah, again, this is what's cool about being immortal. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes things don't hit, but the smell was pretty bad towards the end of the night, I have to say. Yeah, next time if you wash them with vinegar first before you, they cut some of the. I, I have to do the washing, but well, I'm I'll, I'll let knows. everyone know. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. Maybe maybe you do jello next year and like make it like black jello or like purple. So it's like slime. Mm, slimy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that'll be more of a thing. Are you trying to come for my job? No, I'm just <laughs> trying throwing... to take my place as a party planner. Do do I look like I could be a party party planner? <laughs> <laughs> well, I <laughs> In fact, you looked like you hated parties in general. I mean, I usually do. It's a bit of a bit of a subterfuge, maybe. I mean, I gotta go where Victus goes, so. I don't know how you can be in that house with that one. He is such a buzzkill. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> okay, well, I I'm glad to be hearing from you. You seem like you know people. Do you? Know uh grace lives she um she's the new girl last from last night, night right yes yeah. she is amazing caught everybody's eye right i'm just trying to keep up uh i think she said she lives somewhere like southeast side does that be the southwest thank you oh are you lying mm-hmm. all right uh manipulation plus deception please um do I have to get my specialty in subterfuge? Oh, what's your specialty specifically? Subterfuge. It's not a specialty. I'm sorry, all misdirection. of the misdirection. misdirection. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you you could do a resolve plus subterfuge. I mean composure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What am I rolling? It's manipulation plus manipulation subterfuge plus subter- with your specialty. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an extra two dice because it's over the problem. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Your silence is so enigmatic. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Nine. You got nine successes? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> I feel so good for you. I know I was like, we're working this in a way. There's no way. Like, it's four that's she got it. Oh my god. Uh, it's, well, it's an exceptional success, but it's a contested role, so there's technically no exceptional. Um, but in this instance, you have full confidence that Michael has no fucking idea. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to see her later tonight, so I'll tell her you said hi. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, wait, were you call- Wait, well, you texted me. Okay, sorry, pretend I didn't say that. I hang up. <laughs> like, okay, bye. So he said somewhere on the east, southeast side, and you just hang up? No, no, I said, thank you. I'll, I'm seeing her later, so right, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Um, and then it's all about the on, as I'm driving there also, <laughs> I'm looking for anything, any trash, anything on the side of the road that I could use for Ratzak or his diary of the oh. next modern family. Okay. Just keep it, keep it eye. Yeah. Uh, let's say you find uh, an upholstered chair in the right color because you maybe watched a few episodes so you could like mm. learn the colors. And so we could use some of the fabric from our right. chair. And I'll throw that on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he loves destroying furniture. So he does, or I do. Rats out. Oh, yeah. I do too. Though. Maybe that's part of the truck. It's just fun. Destroy furniture. You just yeah. have like a, a, a subscription to that break room place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
every third Tuesday. <laughs> Does have anyone else have anything they would like to do before nine? Uh, I'm heading down to talk to Vince. Okay. Uh, Vince is with his dogs. Uh, he's, he's feeding them a bloody slurry oh. of dog food and his blood mm-hmm. because it is that time of the month for him to feed his dogs. Perfect. Uh, I make my presence known. Yeah, boss. Vince, uh, it's been a little while since we've checked in. How are, how are you doing? I'm fine. And how are all the boys? Fantastic. Everybody nice and full and fed? You guys good? And they all sit at attention. They stop eating, sit at attention, and then give one singular in unison bark. <laughs> wow. That is utterly impressive, Vince. Utterly impressive. Jot down. And then they start eating again. <laughs> um, need anything for me? How have I been for you? You've been fine, sir. Okay. There's no more parties for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's not your favorite, so. You don't like being around vamps. I understand. So thank you for having my back at the party. Of course. I owe you my life. And I appreciate it. If it wasn't for you and Hayden, I tell Hayden he, this all the time. He grips you by the face mm-hmm. in a manly mm-hmm. but platonic way and goes, you are my alpha. Oh, manly, that's okay. <clears throat> always will be. Boss. <sighs> And I mm. grab him by the face, and I kind of hunch down, and I press our foreheads together, and I'm just looking at him. He just kind of breathes deep, just like... Thank you. Excellent work you do. And I walk away. Very intensely ptsd man. man. <laughs> <laughs> I like the relationship, though. It's like sweet in a very strange way. <laughs> Vince is very, um, so, I mean, just some backstory from, from, uh, because you may have heard this. Vince was kept as a dog by his previous master. Um, like, Leash, like, broke his elbow, his knees the wrong way, so he walked like a dog, like, treated like shit, like a dog. And that's how Mordecai found him. So, he is insanely loyal to Mordecai. If anyone is thinking of making a move on Vince against Mordecai... I would not suggest it. (laughs) Hayden would be much more likely to turn on Mordecai than Vince. (laughs) And it's still kind of a mystery to Mordecai, but that's what Vince likes. You're not sure if Vince wants to fuck you or he just worships the ground you walk on. You're never really quite sure. (laughs) It's a normal feeling. But... It's it's how I say good job to Vince. So, so be it. What day of the week is it? That's it. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember. It's okay. now Friday. Uh, I would like. I, I'm going to drop flowers off at um, the grave site before I go to dinner. But that, that I think is the only other thing that I want to do. I'm just gonna. Make sure the business is, is running well. Check in on everybody, all the departments, you know. Water all your daisies. Mm-hmm. I would like to have picked up two people to bring with me to the 10 o'clock dinner. Okay, like just two random... Two human, yeah, blood bags. <laughs> well, like, I'm saying, like, blood, so just, just two generator. people like, you guys want to go to dinner? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I will have... Texted Dahlia. Dahlia does not have a phone. Okay, yeah. who's her? Who's her, her next assistant. person? <laughs> oh. Notice that would send her or give. Are you trying to get a message to Dahlia? Yes. Um, yeah. I would just go out and uh, uh, wave down one of her crows. Okay. So maybe I'll go into the backyard. Or you could text Gee. Gee. Yeah, it's her Gee. Okay. Guy. Okay, I'll text Guy. P. And um, just quick note: odd morning, slash evening. Lots of interest in one moment. I so like as you're sending text messages, he says one moment. Right. And soon a phone in your house that Dahlia gave you, like this, like ostentatious kind of like Audrey Hepburn (laughs) (laughs) rings. She goes, "What is it, my darling?" 
Um, I mean, just an interesting, <laughs> interesting way to greet the day. Lots of uh, inquiries about where I live. Yeah. Um, do we need to move you? I don't think so. I think it's... We could always move into the club. I don't know if it's, I don't know if that's necessary. It would be so wonderful to have you play. Let's see how this evening plays out. I'll Should keep I send key it. round? You feel unsafe? No, no, nothing like that. But I will keep him informed. Thank you. Of course. Anything else? No, was there anything you require of me? Of course not. Do we have you as well. Remember, oh. remember ah. we have ritual coming up. So make sure you are well fed. How could I forget? Hmm. I send my best. Always. See, now I want to find like what that phone looks like. Because it's like in my head. I know exactly what it is. Anything else? Or nope. do you leave for dinner? Um, do you call a car? Or... Yes, I will call for a car. I will... Okay, call me. <laughs> um and then yeah i'll just kind of put her around the house i'm like did we even get any blood so i will i guess I will open the fridge of like looking for any blood as you open the fridge there is a very familiar uh dark wooden box sitting in the middle of your refrigerator oh, son of a bitch slam the fridge door and leave <gasps> Hey, my name's Buddy. I'll be your Uber driver today. <laughs> your tip gets higher the less you speak. Well, you're one of those bitches. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, like I don't you. do it for the tip. So, I mean, that's not, you know, like if, if, if uh, I'll just be quiet just for you, but you don't have to. You know, I do it to, to meet people. <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. Yes. Shh. <laughs> Silence is golden, less is more. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just put on my record. <laughs> and what music starts to play? Polka. <laughs> <laughs> like weird and how polka? Or... Uh, but like a traditional. No, like polka. actual polka. <laughs> but he's Polish. <laughs> <laughs> like polka, I, I heard it by uh, my family's Minnesota wedding. <laughs> All right, as we arrive at Penka, what's the fit? Um, I showed up at 8.45, so I'm sitting at the table. Um, I am wearing um, a uh, button-up shirt mm -hmm. um, with a tie. It's going to be a deep maroon with a charcoal tie. The sleeves are rolled up just below the elbow um, with nice dark jeans. Okay. Um, I will say that she probably, in anticipation of where they were going, I would have Googled it and be like, okay, you did dress appropriately so she still does have her leather jacket on but underneath is a um kind of like a chemise very slinky dress in black with gold like filigree almost um what's the pattern i'm looking for like very light paisley, paisley? yes ah. kind of going through it um black strappy heels and oddly enough, still her messenger bag just across her shoulder, like <laughs> ruining the look. <laughs> her hair is still down and very severe. She's got her leather jacket on, the bag, and then the the dress. And it's knee length. Knee length with a little flare at the knee. I'm assuming you're meeting Dr. Connors, the hostess says. Uh, yes, thank you. I stand up as soon as I see Grace approaching. It is excellent to see you again. Good to see you. Grace. Thank you for... Uh, for facilitating this. I appreciate it. Of course, I thought it might be a little bit useful, all things considered. Absolutely. Please have a seat. Thank you. Um, so I wait for you to hold my chair up. And I'll, I'll happily pull it out. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you. Um, so my... Oh. <laughs> uh, I was not entirely sure if you were intending on 
consuming mortal fare this evening. Um, but I figured I can order one of each of my personal favorites that I recommend here so you can get a look at them before Stefan's available. It is hit or miss whether he'll be participating, but that way you have the option. Oh, that's very considerate of you. Thank you. Chris. Happy to. And uh, and as with that, I will just kind of like like look up, smile, and signal because I've given all of these to the waiter ahead of time. <laughs> um, and I have I marked off my V taper blush play. Um, I have a feeling that you're getting a prank. Um, I will say that I did not quite anticipate, I mean, I knew there was going to be some interest with uh, my connections of this new role that I've inhabited, but, um, yes, rather, let's just say I've become rather popular very quickly. Understandable. You know who I work for mm -hmm. and where that stands for that situation. Of course. But what I did want to offer outside of that, hmm. and I will preface this with saying that you have no reason to trust me and I understand that, I'm not going to ask anything of you. If you have questions, if there's anything you would like to know, um, if there's anything that you think might be helpful for you, um, I'm happy to provide what I have available. I am fairly young, as I believe you are as well, um, and I think that entering into all of the politics and intrigue, you may be more well-versed than I'm expecting. Um, given that it was our first time meeting, I just wanted to offer services, um, and while I will not always offer them without a request, I am offering them now without. Ooh, that's highly generous of you. Thank you. I'm Building goodwill. Um, of course, I'm not so uh, naive to this kind of uh, situation as not to expect, especially in the future, a tit for tat scenario. Thank you. It's coming down. <laughs> if I if I noticed somebody coming, I would have stopped talking. Oh, I mean. But yes. No one pays attention yeah. to what no. servers here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's and that's I guess what I'm. I don't feel comfortable asking somebody for a favor without them understanding my use to them. And I want to make sure that if I do ever ask for something in the future, you understand what my worth is. And if it is valuable to you. If it's not, you have the opportunity to turn me down, but I'm happy to show that it is. Your forthright nature, I will say, is very refreshing. I hope so. <laughs> I've not had a chance to get to know my brother. Uh, so this first meeting, I think, will be very educational. However, maybe you can give me a leg up, so to speak, as what to expect, what his demeanor may or may not be in his uh, overall shit, words of failing me that's all right. margarita not not her <laughs> i'm like fuck where's the word um his overall attitude towards his mother fair uh that is that is an excellent question um i do want to give you a warning right now um before we get into details that we have about an hour for discussion of just course. So you have that in your mind uh, we will be joined at about 10 by Cassandra. Um, oh. But I figured we could get these out of the way beforehand. <laughs> well, that kills three birds then. Um, before I answer that question, I will say, of the people that I trust, or trust is always a hard word for us, isn't it? <laughs> that I Very much so. recommend, mm -hmm. um, Cassandra is on that list. I had a, a feeling from our previous interaction that her general introduction might have been a bit much for your timing, given how much interest there was. Yeah, but she yeah. truly is a lovely person, and if there's something that I don't know, odds are she does. 
that's good to good information to have um i i will say she was uh definitely one of the interested parties as so much uh she has a gift to impart to me um i seem to be receiving a lot of gifts lately <laughs> you will it'll continue um as far as stefan and dahlia i'm moving the food around on my plate what I will say is that it's a difficult topic to discuss. Loyalties are strong. Mm -hmm. But there is a matriarchy, as I'm sure you're aware. Understandable. But, personally, and he kind of like takes a long moment, Stefan's done a phenomenal job holding down what's his. I would generally, which it seems like you've already picked up on, be careful of anything offered. Cassandra, don't take anything. Me, don't take anything. Anybody else, don't take anything. Make sure that you are comfortable with the trade and are aware of the terms. We like to obfuscate. We like to make sure, as I'm sure you probably are familiar with being from a much larger community than here, um, it's always a game. Mm. But I thought that if we started off on the right foot, that might help. I don't keep secrets from your brother. I don't think it would be possible to do so. <laughs> but, there's a lot of other options outside of the truth for both of us. Well said. And well taken, thank you. I... It's nice to know that there's someone within this group, at least, who seems to value an honest word, or at least as honest as one can be. In interest of honesty, I'm only being this open because it seemed like something. <laughs> oh. Well, you weren't wrong. Good. I'm glad that I didn't misread the situation entirely. You are a black box. It is fascinating. We get things <laughs> like this very often. There's uh -huh. one thing saying, just because of your connection, where you came in, Dolly does not bring in new folks for us. Um, that just makes you fascinating in that regard, but we just don't get newbies that often in general. No, I, I understand. And um, to be honest, I wish the circumstances um, had been a little, well, I mean, as favorable as they could have been. Um, you see, I, I don't know if it's very well known, but I lost someone very close to me before I, was brought into the family, and that still weighs very heavily on me. Um, excuse me, and yes. uh, I'll, uh, would you mind bringing out um, the entree that I had ordered uh, for after the, the course here? Um, and the server will walk back with a bowl of pasole and set it down. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How long um, was I thinking? <laughs> From what I will say, it's not homemade, but it's the closest thing I've ever found. They don't pay you enough. I assure you they do. <laughs> huh. Seems that uh, my oh, life is. Miss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Seems my and life immediately is a has a bit more of it. an open book than I had anticipated. Um, I don't know about an open book, but having grown up here, which, well, I was informed you have. Um, it's honestly a dish that I don't think I've had anyone turn down. There. 
Did I answer your question, though? Yes. Yes, thank you. I'm assuming we were served wine <laughs> at some point. Okay. Wine. Um, I'll have like a bottle at the table, but then great. the line will be Do you have any of this one? Um, I'll just kind of sniff at it, let it, you know, like with the food, I'll just play around with it and just, um, and you grab the smell. spoon that was brought to you. Mm -hmm. Um, it is laced with velvet on the underside. So your hand burns. WTF. Are you all right? Yes, I, um, Can I, hold on, if that was happening, I would have thought of something very quickly. Is there a way for me to try and make it seem like I spilled the bowl accidentally? You could make a, let's say, manipulation plus per expression. Okay, hold on, I gotta look at my so But manipulation plus which? Uh, expression. I don't know if I have expression, I don't have expression. Well, what do you have for social skills? So you can also do subterfuge. Or depending on what you want Subject, to do, you can also yeah. do sleight of hand, which would be larceny, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, so I would do my manipulation and sleight of hand, just to see if I can get it so that it's it looks like accidental. Wait, no, wrong yes, thing. I need... And then you can make a perception check for this. Okay. So that Keep in mind that you had aspects to perception. Is yeah. that resolved composure and then aspects? Mm -hmm. Nine. Yeah, we should have checked those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and them. Well, so my roll itself was eight. Like I have eight. Okay. Yeah, four tens. Six, On the first one. Six, six, six. Four successes. Give me one more roll, each of you. Oh shit! Just with the same, just just same one dice. dice. Just one dice. One success. No, just the actual number. Nine. One. Um. It's masterfully done. But she pretends to spill her soup. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I make a big fuss of it. I'm so sorry. I just. Is everything all right, Ben? Yes, I just the the bowl was warm, and I just didn't anticipate. I'm sorry. Well, why don't we just bring you over to this other table, and then uh, we'll have this cleaned up. Yeah. Um, I personally love the view here would we just be able to get a few more napkins and uh yes silverware? please oh, of course thank you so much let's yeah. try and to they do you spill the bowl and spoon on the ground yes everything's on so the they ground. come and pick everything up sweep bring you new napkins and then after some hullabaloo you are sitting at a stained but still i'm um, that was embarrassing not at um, all do you want my spoon I just, uh, just maybe some more wine and I will take a vial out <gasps> from my bag um, that I usually keep some blood in just to add to my wine as I drink. Uh, if you drink the food. wine, you will have to do Blush of Life. Okay. Music. And you will have to get rid of that later. <laughs> That's why I was trying to just add a little bit of water, a little blood to it, spice it up. I'm so feel like. Every boy, every big girl. People of the world. So you watch <laughs> as she puts the glass to her face and blood begins to flow through her cheeks, giving her a semblance of being a living person. Okay, got it. So just blood. Give us a little, give us a little gas. You... You're welcome to bring your glass along, but would you like mm. to see your table this evening? Oh, this is, well, after I... <laughs> Ruined this one so completely. Yes. Oh, please. this is ours. Stefan. Ah. 
<laughs> but he Why knows where I... it is. I just assume even the playing field. Should not have expected any less, of course. Yes, please lead the way. I'll Thank refill you. my own glass, and I'm going to take Grace's hand, and uh, um, I lost the name of it because it's obfuscate, but it's the second I'll touch of shadow, both of us, to just make us and just stand up and with your hand if you if you would mind if you wouldn't mind terribly. Of course. Um, can I? Can I tell that that's happening to me? I mean. People literally walk straight towards you and then walk around you, so it's pretty obvious the use of obfuscate, I would say. Okay. No one's paying attention to you whatsoever. Okay. So it's pretty clear that he is hiding your presence. Um, I'll, I walk, okay. uh, I'll, if you follow me, I walk you back sure. um, around, kind of just back around the restaurant, past the entrance to an area um, that has basically this big turning wall size doors mm -hmm. both of them are closed pushing one open in the back there all of the normal tables are cleared out entirely and there is just a single two-person table in the middle i don't know if i'll ever get used to this it's a bit of a stage isn't it <laughs> a bit I'm the theater sized doors of course Honestly, I'm glad oh. you're laughing. It seems like you're going to be suited to this more than I expected from last night. No offense meant. None taken. It's all going to be a show. And it's going to be that way the whole time you're here. Then I better get my act together, shouldn't I? Well, I think from what you've said and the little that I've heard, you have some friends in the wings. We might not be players. You are in a much more dangerous position. You have some friends in the wings. On the doors that you just swung open, there's a knock. Come in. Yi walks in with a new dress for you. Good. Thank you. And I'll take the dress, drape it over my hand, and, um, which... Oh, um, and I will walk around. Sorry, I'm imagining the real restaurant in my sure. head while we're doing this. Uh, but there is a, if, excuse me, um, and I'll walk over to the side. On one wall is this beautiful, like, display of herbs, spices, and dried items mm -hmm. that it goes from floor to ceiling in this metal shelving unit. Um, there's a door to one side that leads to a staff area, and I'll go ahead and open that for you. Thank you. Of course. Walk off to... Go change. As she walks off, Yi turns to you and goes, surprised to see you so early for dinner. I honestly think that it's better to be early than late. And I also think that we're both doing our jobs excellently. Nice job with the timing, Yi. I trust your mistress as well. Of course. Excellent. Is there anything that I might be able to offer for your troubles? No. Fantastic, I assumed not, but it's the polite thing to do. If you wouldn't mind excusing us. Steps outside. Yeah. So, as 10 o'clock approaches, do you guys make an effort to be outside the restaurant, or are you already inside the restaurant when Cassandra opens? Uh, I would just, I, I would think once Grace has changed, um, I would just take her back to the table that we were sitting at. As you approach the table that you were sitting at before, it is completely clean, as per your instructions. Oh, good. You work fast, don't you? I just have, luckily, very good friends. <laughs> uh, and apparently, so do I. Um, what's the what does the new dress look like? It is a uh, it is a black kind of lace Victorian number. Okay. Uh, no crinolines or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, still modern in the skirt length. Okay. Um, but it is definitely much more old fashioned than you were wearing. I am now replaying that phone call in my head and I've inserted the scene from Jennifer's body where she's like, wear something cute, okay. And like bites her knuckles. Mm -hmm. And it has like one of those like lace collars that comes all the way up. Oh God. So that you are chased. And so now it is framing my face, so I've got the bob here with the collar. Um, it's honestly, collar. <laughs> it's honestly um, striking and intimidating. I think it's a good choice. <laughs> Thank you. At least it matches the shoes. Can't go wrong with black. So I feel like you've already picked this up 
As far as trust goes, well, yes, the jury's out. Um, but as I'm sure you were aware, there are certain people that you just have to include in your circles. Of course. The only reason I say any of this is just to bring attention to where some of the eyes and ears are. I think you probably noticed that I'm very careful in choosing words. Mm -hmm. And it's because, well, with you, your Cassandra entrance go. Hey, <laughs> we're here. Pull up oh, a seat. No. I'll say I have two very good looking people with me. One male, one female, I guess. Oh, we only have room for one more. Oh, well, they're just here to join us for like, you know. Ma'am, your private table is ready on the second floor. Oh, excellent. We'll have more room up there. Second floor? Oh. Guess I'm seeing the whole place then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, did you have a tour already? I love this restaurant. It's great. Damon called ahead and had the uh, owner clear out the living room of the apartment upstairs so we could put up a private table. He just loves to make sure I'm taken care of, you know. Eyes and ears. <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> so so you're taken upstairs <laughs> into somebody's what is obviously somebody's private living room oh, where all God. the furniture has been pushed against the walls and a table set up. <laughs> wow. You know, last time I was in here, I felt like they just, there was something extra that's missing now. Oh, Above well. Above the fireplace. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there used to be a landscape. An eye. <laughs> So, so what have you guys been talking about? <laughs> are they, the two humans with her is like, are these the party animals you told us about? Well, we're we're gonna help facilitate things along. Yes, you guys. I don't know if you've gotten to eating yet. Probably we want to wait until the prince. But I just I brought us, of course, a little snack. Sandra, I'm so sorry. I may not have been totally clear about what was happening. Oh, we are no 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 this is me um we are exiting before the princess arrived oh you are or i am you we are. are oh you're right i don't just, really want to hang out with him <laughs> just i thought this would be a lovely way to bring grace a little bit up to speed before entering politics okay so what's the table look like um it's just a circular table silverware just it's exactly the same as the ones they have downstairs okay um, so I just try to get us seated. I put, um, have I noticed you noticing either men or women? Um, probably just casting my eye over both. Okay. Not terribly critically, but. Did I notice disturbing. how you looked at these two people that I brought in? <laughs> Whether you responded to one over the other? Did you even no. really look at them? No. No, no care. No. Okay, well, I will go ahead and take a guess and put the lady in between us. Um, I Oh, I get my gift, so I got you. Um, so I give you a gift. I have something for you, too. Um, and so if you Sandra, open you're them. So <laughs> <laughs> um, if you open them, it's their diamond earrings and uh, cashmere socks. <laughs> Excuse me, just a moment. And I, I turn out from the table and like take off, <laughs> swap out the socks for the new. These are so comfortable. Yay! I'm oh. happy. They, can you describe it? I mean, we know that earrings, diamond earrings, can are they studs? Are they bang? You know, dangly? Are I think they like three? It three and a little drop. Like a drop. Yeah. Okay. Very lovely. Yeah. These are, Sandra. These are beautiful. I just. I, I hope they weren't too dear. Oh, no, definitely not. We get a lot of trinkets from, you know, people that we, Tiffany? we bring home. I, maybe. I'm hoping they're vintage, actually. Pre-Tiffany. Like the very <laughs> out-of-it woman is rubbing your leg with her foot under the table. I just do not respond. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, okay, so I'm getting like an awkward attack again, but let's say I very sensually, I can't even open my eyes while I'm saying this. <laughs> we won't look at you. <laughs> very sensually, um, 
with my eyes look at you and I'm like trying to convey to you like this is what a life with my vampire house would be like and I um I'm like caressing the woman in between us. okay and then like at one point I like I go down and I feed off of her in between her legs like also looking up at you the woman <laughs> Is that to kiss you as she's being fed from me? Mm-hmm. Um, I and pour I'll, a glass of wine and yeah, sit back. I'll very carefully like just redirect her and just um, not to. I don't want her to feel rejected, so I'm just gonna like. She's struck out. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm just gonna like move her off to the side and lay her back or make her comfortable, um, or even just like, no, I'm gonna lay her across my lap. I'm just going to lay her across my lap as you're feeding and um, drink some more wine. Man begins to get closer to you. So, Cassandra, we've been talking a little bit um, about details, about culture, about... Go ahead and add two Vita to your pool. Yes. <laughs> I just, I turn to the man and like clock, like, oh, let me just double check that I, I want to make sure that I have the resources to do this. Um, I, I, I'm going to step back for a moment so I can just make sure I have the resources yeah. to do this. Apologies. <clears throat> okay, so I'll make sure the woman looks okay. <laughs> I tend to her, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's a gentle bite, so you can lick the wound clean, so there's, like, no... Okay, we'll say I did that. <sighs> you know, all this... Hang on a second. Oh, okay, so I will look the man in the eye as he, like, starts to get closer and say, I think your attentions are misdirected. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm taking notes. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I have we have another person coming too, and I bet I bet he'll be. Actually, he probably won't want to bite you, but we'll make bite it work. Me? I mean, kiss you. Mm. <laughs> but you've never had a little. Uh... I did drug them too. I, no, this is out of, not saying out loud, but just so you guys know, like they're drugged too. <laughs> um, Kelvin will. Uh... Stand up. Um, I think you have things under control for the moment. Um, and I'm just going to take the man's hand and say, follow. And just guide him into the bathroom of this apartment that we're in. <laughs> just random apartment above the room. I know exactly how I wanted this to go. but And I'm just going to feed. Just go straight in on it. Ooh. Um, um, okay. Uh, when do you pull back? Um, I will, I will make it gentle. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to hurt him in any, not in any intentional way. Um, but I will, yeah, I will feed on, on this one. Okay. Um, you can safely take three from him. Three from him? Mm -hmm. I will take two. Okay. Because I don't know if he's going to be fed out again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and you just like leave him in the bathroom or? No, no, no. Um, uh, once things are, um, once things are complete, I am going to just lean into his ear and whisper, that was incredibly pleasurable. Oh. For you. And then guide him, <laughs> to, uh, uh, guide him back into the main room. The man comes back in, clearly aroused, and <laughs> him and the girl start making out on the couch, cool. I guess. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Let them be. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Cassandra, always the best party favorite. <laughs> I don't, sorry, this is a little bit of a sidetrack, but just not that you have to follow this by any means. Um, not at all. Generally speaking, um, several of the Invictus prefer to feed in private. It's something that is a little bit of a cultural cachet. I'm assuming it's not over from Dahlia's past, but it's something that she's passed on to Stefan. And, oh, of uh, course. Follow the custom. Yes, it's a little boring. <laughs> she's not wrong. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you've heard that from Dahlia. Yes, so. yeah. Uh, no, that, that's understandable. Um, that's uh, uh, a directive that I've... Uh, that Should was we go instilled. to a private room? 
Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, Is darling, I think both of you. Him? I think you both want to. You both should. Oh, let's go through the drawers. And they kind of like kind scamper of, off, scamper off, giggling to go through <laughs> this person's personal belongings. Go for it. <laughs> sure. I miss the landscape, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the painting over the fireplace. I feel like it tied the room a lot more to me. It does feel like something's missing. You called it out perfectly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never been a fan of abstract art. Yes, but you can tell it always has soul. That's true. So, Cassandra, I did give Grace the trust no one discussion. Great. I, as you can see, I'm very bad at that part. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly the reason why I said if you're going to trust anyone. Hi. <laughs> Didn't you invite? Did you? I didn't know that. Right? Oh yeah, no, I don't think we've had that discussion yet. But um, I was actually going to ask you. Um, <laughs> I made more plans for us this evening when Grace is occupied. I love plans. Mordecai's available at midnight. Uh, whether we would like that to happen here or at the casino, he said to let him know. <clears throat> okay, it'll be a bit boring here with my meeting with Stefan. So I would like to not be here. Yes, let's go take a little trip, and we'll come back for you, or you can meet us out there. Um, Ooh, we can send a car. Yes, please. There was, oh gosh, what was his name? Barry. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> My ride here was a fan of polka music. It was unsettling. You know, I talked to Michael today, too, and maybe you guys could ride out there together, because I just have a feeling that he wants to be our friend. I have a feeling a lot of individuals want to be my friend. <laughs> Michael. I know. He texted me. He was really nice about the pumpkin stuff at the party. Um, and so then I called him and uh he, I think he trusts me. I think I think we're making we're making positive stuff. And to be clear, <laughs> to you, Invictus sending Michael is a direct like Like yeah. Michael doesn't do anything without Invictus explicitly telling him to. <laughs> Michael doesn't, okay, got it. Without Invictus, the person. Yes. My brain was like, Invictus? No, no, right. Invictus, right. Sorry. Um, Michael would stand around in a closet all day if Victus told him to. Right. Yes. And I think that we can arrange a better transport for you. I'm. <laughs> Michael's, it's an old beat up truck. As much as I'm sure that's nostalgic oh. for all of us. It doesn't you, matter if it's true yeah. or not. <laughs> as much as that is nostalgic for, for most of us, um, there are more comfortable ways to, to reach the casino. Oh, I'm sure. Um, let's let's just see how... One, I don't know how long this tete-a-tete with Stefan is going to be. Um, so let's see how I'm feeling and how long this might take. Your siblings, we are at your beck and call for timing. Thank you. I appreciate both of you. I think I'm going to maybe take some air before this meeting and... The door to the rooftop is unlocked. There shouldn't be anybody up there. Thank you. I walk you up there and... <laughs> the door. I kiss you deeply. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and then I'll come back down. I uh, when when Cassandra takes Grace out to do that, uh, I'm gonna go use the restroom to get rid of any of the food that I have. <laughs> Take care of that now. <laughs> and then Fade by the black. time by the time you're back, I'll be sitting back at the table with a glass of wine. Cool. Best friends, best friends, I tell you. Cassandra, Michael. What? Are we mad at him for some reason? No, but that just means that we're adding another power player to this game. I can only keep track of Stefan and Damon. I can't do Victus at the same time. I can, it's just a bitch. I think it's better that we get him into play early, you know? So then we can kind of be on his side and be watch. I don't know. I just, I just rather, instead of him sneaking up behind me and whispering something creepy in my ear, I'd rather he just be like, already there. And I know he's there. That's fair. <laughs> I, oh, okay, okay, cool. 
I, I trust you. This is a judgment call. We'll do the best we can. And you're not wrong, but knowing the move ahead of time is a good choice. Okay. I mean, you know, I... You that... can clearly hear them talking. It's oh. your vampire hearing. Oh. <laughs> um, and would I guess that, like, Invicted, like, knowing what I have heard of in Invicted... Oh, that might... I'm sorry, that might change my side, because in my mind, we're on the second floor, and she's on, like, the ninth floor. So, like, there's, like, a, lo- a lot this of space between us. private it. room. Oh, like, no, it's a oh. family home. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my private room. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so I'll say she can't hear. Okay. Oh, no, okay. If, if we do, I can, I'm fine with what I said, but I'm just like, no, we, I'll, I'll know that going. Got it. Um, <laughs> um, I, with what I've learned so far, honesty is the right play. Okay, and, and so what Cassandra has heard of this Victus guy... I would know, like, he would probably also be interested in Grace, like, based on the fact that everybody else is, like, just, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, all the players are coming out for this, so. I know, that's why I would, my my goal is to, as much as possible, keep it to the pawns. I mean, I'm just trying to do just enough work so that it doesn't look like I'm not working on things, you know? Fair how is Damon? Terrible. He's been in a terrible mood. Excellent. I wish you would tell me why. At least then I could try and fix it for him. But, you know. Honestly, Stefan's not going to care about the reason as long as I can report that he's in a terrible mood. Mm. Stefan's in a terrible mood as well. I mean, he hated the party last night. I just know it. But you know that he didn't hate it because of you. He hated it because of I mean, what happened. He might as well hate it because of me. <laughs> as far as I know, you are still scheduled for the next. Would All you right. need Equinox? Let's get you in for Solstice. I mean, if anybody else handles Solstice, I will burn this entire town to the ground. So I hope you know that. He knows that. Stefan was here last year. Yes. He knows. Okay. Um... Yes, but you're right, you're right. He's still, he hasn't canceled any of our, you know, meetings or anything. So. And you know if there's dissatisfaction, I will pass it along. At the end of the day, <laughs> if my loyalty is to make these parties go off as best as he wants, I think you're the best person to do it. I mean, you don't want to deal with anybody else. I know that. But I do think that Grace is going to be overwhelmed. We're all hitting too hard. I I made my best play. Femoral artery feeding at the dinner table. If that doesn't turn somebody to my side, nothing. And else. passionate kiss, let's not. Pas- and a passionate kiss. You weren't there for that, but I gave it all I got. Fair. Anyway. All right. Well, excellent. Let's go meet up with Morty. I need to get him a gift now. We have time to stop. Though. We do. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Um, do you want, do you want to get the ride or do you want me to get the ride? Uh, I'll get it. Sure. Well, you have your car. Like for, oh, were you talking about for us or for, for us? Chris? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I have my car. I'll drive. <laughs> Yay. I'll leave mine downtown. <laughs> so you come back and they're just gone? <laughs> I was gonna say that. Oh, I thought we were approaching eleven. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. But like, uh, there's just a server in there, like cleaning up the table. Oh, did you still need the table? No. Um, the couple, I guess, making love in the. Oh, no, room. I, we took them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we took them. Maybe I didn't. After you get in the car, the woman goes like, "Look, it's not their hamster." <laughs> <laughs> I give him some sleeping pills. <laughs> I love you. Drink this like, water, darling. Sleeping, sleeping pills? You have a... I mean, I'm going to go ahead and give them some something to help them Just sleep. Just give them a special water bottle. Unless yeah. you have other ways you'd like to get them to shut up. Oh, I've only got one of them. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give her something, though. I give her some water. Drink this water, honey. Uh, is the party over? Um, no, we're going to another party at a big casino. It's got. Oh, I should hydrate. You should. <laughs> God, it's so easy to pick people up in this town. I love. <laughs> well, to be entirely fair. I get most of them from you. So. Really? 
you know, I get such an ego boost from that. Um, Miss, uh, are you ready for your third dinner? <laughs> I'll be right down. <laughs> anyway. I guess feel free to use the powder room. <laughs> <laughs> no longer making a lot of business. <laughs> um, I actually I will go into the powder room. I'm going to look at the dress that um, Dahlia sent over with Guy. I'm going to rip the collar open so that it's now a deep V. That's good. Down. Um, what, you said it was like a modern length, so it's probably... It's a modern like length, but still kind of length. like that kind of drapey Victorian style. Okay. And then, um, and then ripping the seam on the side so it has thigh-high slit. Yeah. And then... You do know you're meeting your brother. Yep. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> your brother. But it's now five blood. Exactly. It is well, it is five blood. <laughs> blood, but not genetics. But not that blood. Yeah. Not that blood. I mean, it is technically. I dress for me. I don't dress for him. Yeah. It's for me, girl. Because it should be. Amen. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. I would like to have left, before we left, just like a single um, red... Um, not rose, but like a, a a single red poppy at the opposite seat from where Stefan generally sits in this restaurant. Um, as you come out of the powder room, Yi is there with a knife uh, in his hand. It's like, if you need your strength before meeting with the prince. I'm... I'm sufficiently sated. Thank you. Very well. It's a knife away. If you'll excuse me, I will go back to my car. I'll wave a hand and dismiss him and walk down to the to the table. You are sitting a red poppy in your face and an empty chair on the other side. And just have my leg crossed one over the other, thigh to the most advantage, waiting for us to About 30 minutes go by after he was supposed to arrive. Mm -hmm. Uh, when he comes in through the staff kitchen, uh, sits down, uh, kind of like a dad sitting down to a bunch of kids that he doesn't care to speak to, and goes, Sorry, I was late. I'm very busy. Um, getting to know you. Um, where are you from? Should we cut the crap? Yeah. If you would like to. I think it would save time. I've never done it myself, but I'm sure I could have some human shit brought in that you can cut up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, were you expecting dramatics? No, not at all. I was at least uh, expecting magic. Look, I know Mother wants to replace me. I know that's you. I called this meeting to let you know that if that happens, you won't make it out of it. You are an upstart baby vampire with absolutely nothing going for you in this town. So I just want you to not shit where I eat. I wouldn't dream of it, darling. Mm, don't call me darling. You call me asshat, brother, or prince. Master is also appropriate. Asshat it is. I'm sure everyone in this town wants to get to know you because they all think you're going to be the new me. That's not going to happen. Why in the world would I want to be you when I can be me? What is that supposed to mean? I'm waiting. Oh, you'll wait. I am your prince. I know you have mother's ear, and I know you're her special God's gift from heaven. I still control this city. Apologies for the offense, my prince. You're my present. It was received. You seem so calm about it. Should I not be? Well, I would assume opening the uh, 
shower curtain of your bathroom and finding uh, my gift would have been surprising for you. <laughs> Nothing surprises me with the world that I've stepped into. You didn't get it. Did you? Who did send you a gift then? As you said, there are many, many people trying to gain my favor. So excuse me for not counting your gift among the many received. Very well. I guess we're done here. We're done, and I will get up and walk away. Um, Grace, was it? I keep going. <gasps> I walk away. <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Your phone begins to ring. Kill me. I, I was like in the middle of. To do this. I was like in the middle of texting Mordecai to let him know that we're on our way out there. <laughs> yes, master. Uh, could you remove Grace from the uh, guest list for Solstice? Of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Also, my mother. Also. Yes, sir. <gasps> And you know wish. what? While we're at it, Damon too. <laughs> and we're gonna go with Hayden for the planning this year. Yeah, mother. Oh, for yeah. Sure. Anything you desire, sir. <laughs> I, 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 okay, Margaret, out of character. I did not mean to fuck it up that much for every minute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's part of part of the fun. Oh it's figuring God. out what happened. <laughs> um, of, of course, sir. I appreciate. The heads up, thank you. <sighs> Is there anything you need? No. I will be available, of course. Why wouldn't you be? Where are you? I am on my way to a meeting to try and find with out. With who? Who the fuck do you have a meeting with that you didn't tell me about? <laughs> Broken on the floor. They're generally... I'm <laughs> This is something real. Oh, wow. Why wake it up? Turn the, turn the radio off. <laughs> oh, that's what was happening. I was trying to figure out what was going on. You're in her car. I, I thought this was like a reference to the scene. And I was like, well, I'm like going through my like Natalie and Berkeley. Natalie and Berkeley, what happened? Right now? What happened? Sorry. Um, oh, my God. Uh, and I, I do reach out and just shut off the radio. Um, <sighs> I, I apologize, sir. Generally, you have found the machinations uh, tedious and boring, so I had not shared that I was endeavoring to find out some more information on the Damon situation. Very well. I'll sleep at mine tonight. I'm going to need you tomorrow night. Yes, sir. And he hangs up on you. Okay. <laughs> but I was waiting for I was waiting for the click on the line. Oh, because. Want to know if he's mad at me? I don't want to know. He's not mad at you, and we have a few months to figure it out. Thank God. <laughs> he's just mad. I can see the. <laughs> I will text Grace. That went well. Period. <laughs> dash doctor. He's line break. Oh dash God. doctor. Kelvin Connor. <laughs> Um, you get a text back that says the word exceedingly. Cassandra, turn the music up. <laughs> and I'm going to call Grace. Oh, the music in the background. <laughs> hey. Hey, so it sounds like that was honestly kind of a drag. And I'm honestly having a drag of a night, but I think that Cassandra and I are on our way to have fun if you want to join. <laughs> you know now Ruby is a vampire. <laughs> I met her last year. <laughs> if you didn't know, the best person to ask is Cassandra. Oh my god, I love this. Um, shit. How would Grace respond? <laughs> Natalie and Brulia blaring in the background. Shitty evening. Um, All I'm saying is, if you want to vent, there's three people that will understand. Wow, I love the invite here. Hang on, we're getting to you. Give it a minute. Um, wow. 
Danny. I think I need to take care of a couple of things before I head out again. <laughs> that meeting left a bad taste in my mouth and I need to get that out. Fair. See you in a couple hours. Tell Michael hi. If you see him. Will do. You may not. Just beware. Like, what? Michael, uh, you've just finished getting the woman into your trunk. <laughs> Jump cut! Oh my god, it's like Natalie and Bergley! Right? Um, <laughs> oh, look, it's here. Nothing tracks, <laughs> Uh, when you get a text, that's the music swells. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not, not, not an actual, like, oh. it's from Ratsack saying, hey, you got a minute? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, what's up? Uh, your phone starts ringing. Uh, <laughs> answer it and start driving. Hey, 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 you know how you wanted me to watch that Grace Girl, right? Mm. Right? Mm. So, so, uh, they, uh, I know a hamster who, like, knows a guy, mm -hmm. right? And he just says that he just had, uh, she just had, like, a crazy sex party with Cassandra and, uh, uh, Kelvin, right? Over at Penka in some dude's apartment. With oh, like Pickles. Two, yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and then, uh, he overheard that they're going to Michael's, so they're going to be at the casino. I mean, more guys. Yeah, more guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get you guys confused. You're both tall. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. So if you got time, I would head over there. You ain't busy, are you? I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I have a delivery for me. <laughs> you know? Okay. Oh, like an Uber Eats day. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. I get yeah. you. I get you. I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I could go. And just let you know how it goes. I can tell you, Grace likes me. We had a real connection at the party, okay? Like, she was, like, super into the whole rat under the skin thing. So I think... <laughs> I think... He's a boss. You're better off, like, staying background on this one. Okay, okay. I mean, I have, like, so many tiny chairs to make it. Okay. The Dumfies have so many fucking chairs in that living room. Hey, <laughs> speaking of, I have something for you. I found some really cool fabric. Did you I think put you're gonna the like. woman in the trunk with the chair from the side. I have a truck, so she's in the cab in the she back in the seat. Cab. Yes, and the chair is in the back. In the bed. Yes. Okay, um, you just told me to keep you up to date, and I didn't know where you were, so I couldn't send a birthday card. No, I, I appreciate it. Um, is the hamster still with them? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Well. All right. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I feel, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, Thanks. bless. No, I, I'll thank you for the info. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Um, and you're going to put in a good word for me with Victus? Always. Get into that coils of dragon. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to learn the secrets, you know? Yeah, they're secretive. Yeah. Well, I tried to get in with Damon, but he was like, you are creepy as shit, so... He said, no. Oh, you are, but that's what makes you daring. Thank you. That's what I right? tell yeah, people exactly. all the time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, I, 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 it's not every day you meet somebody named Ratsack, right? right? <laughs> you know, I didn't believe you when you first told me, remember? So it's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Yeah. Thanks. I'll put it on where the thick this and. Also, yeah, yeah. You didn't hear this from me. Uh huh. But that Grace chick, yeah. she left. Fucking pissed after meeting with Stefan. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I was in the building next door. I was, you know, it was a little old lady, but, you know, she hasn't got much to live for anyway, right? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. But yeah. she left pissed. Huh. I couldn't get a rat into the room because Stefan's like, so, you know, restaurants don't like rats, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've heard things about Pink. But... Not a rat in there, I can tell you. <laughs> Surprising. Um, at least not one of mine. Uh, okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. You know, did you see where, like, where she headed? Where did you go after you left the restaurant? Did um, you walk off, or did she get in the car with Guy, or? What did I do? I... It's a conversation, Scott, if you have not been there before. Thank you. 
Um, I would have walked into downtown. I'm heading towards, since it's late at night, I'm probably heading towards, like we were talking about, the Pennington Garage. Uh, I lost her after she walked down Scott. Okay. That's fair. Cool. Okay, buddy. Love right. you. You too. All right. You gotta say it back or it doesn't mean anything. I, I love you too, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> You can bring that chair by tomorrow. Okay. All right. You want me to just drop it or you want me to come in? No, just drop it. Do you have human servants? <laughs> no. Okay, then just drop it no. tomorrow. You can just swing by tomorrow and we can, I don't know, uh, I, got a new, I got a new porno we could watch. Oh. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Okay. All right? Yeah. No one gets their legs sawed off this time. You told me you didn't like that, so it's not like that. I promise. All right. <laughs> Cool. All right. Fair. All right. Well, later, buddy. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Too. Love you. <laughs> that deck is a very low humanity vampire. That's why we're friends. Um, I'm going to go step back home and then deliver my. Uber Eats order? <laughs> Pick this Eats order. Uh, so do you call Mordecai? Oh, yeah. As soon as I'm off the phone with Grace, I will call Mordecai. Hello, Mordecai's phone. Hi, Hayden. Can you give the phone to Boss? Can I ask what this is in regards to? Hi, Hayden. Can you give the phone to Boss? Grudgingly. Is that Hayden? Tell me that <laughs> well, it's Mordecai now. Hey, uh, Hayden, Cassandra says hi. Tell her I got her the blackjack dealer she likes. <laughs> Tell Cassandra that she's got the blackjack dealer she likes. Hayden got the blackjack dealer you like. He has a sexy you guys have vampire hearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's politeness, Margar. <laughs> I mean, at least Cassandra and I, you, you, I'm six years ish. I don't know how long you are. Oh, I think it's been like 30 years. Okay, so like we're re relatively young. Sure. Yeah. I'm younger, I guess, but yeah, sure. like we're relatively young. <laughs> I love um, it. Excellent. I just want to let you know that we are going to do the casino tonight if it's still available. Absolutely. Fantastic. I mean, I guess it makes sense with Hayden saying the black duck dealer. Um, oh, buddy, there's a lot going on. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um special room away from everybody do you want to be in the mix with everybody what are you what are you guys feeling tell me what you need cassandra's gonna want to see some people at some point but we can start with the privacy and then we'll go from there start with privacy get the serious stuff out of the way and then have some fun after if we can god damn it why do we not work for the same organization you're fantastic i deeply appreciate that i think we don't work for the same organization for this exact reason fair yeah Cool. Uh, 20 minutes? 25? Roughly. Cassandra driving, so probably like 15? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I-19 is just like fucking flying. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Time. <laughs> cool. Um, we got two... Are you thinking? Takes a moment. <laughs> Blood bags. Um, that I... Or one of them's used up and one of them's close to. <laughs> All right. Um, I will have some assistance at the car for, for you guys then. Absolutely. Thank you. Anytime. Uh, anyone else joining us? Not to my knowledge. Okay. But it is your territory, sir, so I... It's on you. I have to at least ask. Yeah, no, we're, I mean, we, we're here. <laughs> we are here at your grace. And you're always welcome. See you soon. <laughs> Oh, thanks for mentioning the blood bags. I always forget about these protocols. I just don't really know. What How long did it take you to get used to this? Uh, you know, I try to find a special fun in it. So, well, yeah. Can you keep a secret for me? Oh my god, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, now that you've told me it's a secret, I'm pretty sure I can keep it. Their communication. Mm -hmm. It's important. Yeah, I mean, because I tend to default to nothing's a secret, whereas a lot of other people default to, like, everything's a secret, so it's just good to be on the same page. Of course. <laughs> I have not killed a mortal yet. Oh. 
Okay, so culturally, it's you're not valid. supposed to kill. Oh, okay. it happens, but you're not you're not supposed to. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of a good thing, <clears throat> right? Have you? I mean, things have happened. Sure. I'm just scared for it if it does come. Scared that you're gonna feel super bad, or that you're not gonna feel anything at all. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess everybody has to go through that, and I think that you are self-assured enough that when you do it, whatever side you land on is going to feel right. I don't know if I'd make it out. What do you mean? Well, the fact that I'm here is kind of an anomaly. Why is that? Um, do I what? no like... Oh, I don't know if we've had that conversation before, so maybe that's not something that I have dropped before. I mean, do you think we would have talked about it? Cassandra, we're entering into something. Um, and I think that our relationship's reached a point where I can share this with you. You're aware that I don't have a sire. Okay, so I have heard a few things from a few people, but nothing that I was certain of. How did that happen? Good question. I'm not particularly involved in the proceedings of it, but hmm. all I'm saying is I'm just grateful to be here, but unsure if I would make it out in the same way. I'm always a little bit worried about going too far. Uh, okay, well, I think that making it six years, you've done a really good job. So in an attempt to not bring down the mood too much from this admission, um, do you have... I just lost her name. Oh, no! Uh, so I was going to ask you for a song specifically, and I lost the artist's name. Um, Natasha uh, Bedingfield. Can I have Megan my way downtown? Vanessa Carlton. Vanessa, Vanessa Carlton, Carlton, thank you. Yes. Boom. I will, I'm going to scream sing this with you if you're down. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to roll down the windows. Um, oh, unbeknownst like to the two in the hand. front, there's a hamster just kind of like jamming out in the back. <laughs> so, uh, like, unaware of any of the sight that was happening with the Victus side of it, I almost, when he showed that he had a hamster, just like out of like reflex was like, I take it from his hand and like snap its neck. Oh. Uh, not thinking about rat sack at all. And then I was like, I don't think Kelvin would do that. It just feels, the whole thing feels weird and like step back and then that happened and I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but it would have been very out of character. So it wouldn't have made sense. <laughs> I held your hand as you see when you drive. Yes, I'm scared. It's okay to call you Cass. I mean, I like Cass. Just okay. not Cassie, please not. Yes, I'm nervous. Um, yeah, I think someone's going to die soon. Maybe not tonight. What are you nervous about? <laughs> There's a lot more motion than we've seen in a long time, and I don't know if it's in the right direction. You know, these shakeups happen all the time. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's probably nothing to worry about. No, I mean, I think we have a right to worry, but, you know, there's only so much we can control. We can only do so much. Oh gosh, it sounds like the worst thing to say. I don't mean this in a you, and I'm not putting this on you. I'm putting this on myself. But what they always say is that the cockroaches survive. So. Oh, yeah. Well, we we are survivors. Fingers crossed. You arrive at the casino. Um, Vince is there uh, to open the door with his dogs. Hi, Vince. We're wearing their little security vests. Mm -hmm. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Sandra. How are you? Okay. Mordecai's I... waiting for you. All right. Why is he in a good mood? He's always in a good mood. I brought him a gift, but it was a bit short notice, so we'll see. Bye. <laughs> I'm going with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I hop on your back like a piggy. What is that? Piggy piggy back, yeah, right, yeah. Piggy back right. <laughs> How are the pups doing? Hang on. Let's talk about the pups. 
I'll give you a topic. The radical reconstruction of the South after the Civil War was neither radical nor reconstruction. Discuss. <laughs> Is that a line from something? Yes. That was amazing. That That's was so... totally a line from SNL. That's that old SNL oh. skit from Coffee Talk with I was gonna say, Michael Myers. That from um, yeah. Dogs are fine. Excellent. <laughs> Since I've never known what to do with you. Good. <laughs> You're here to see my master. That's all you need to know. With some master. <laughs> You're yes, so cute. But... That little talk, I like tickle your ear. <laughs> I think Mordecai would agree, Vince, that oftentimes masters are where the interesting things are happening. Boss, your guests are here. <laughs> As he says to a closed door. <laughs> Open the door, and uh, Mordecai has on very nice slacks and a nice laurel button down shirt but it's uh only buttoned up to like here so his chest tattoos are poking up and it's the sleeves are already rolled up as he has had to pit boss a little bit tonight already <laughs> just a little hayden is sitting in the corner in the uh same gray suit you always see him in because he owns 15 of them <laughs> are we in, what is the room like is it this is your office or uh it's a side reserved room um so it's like a private it's a VIP. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of like throw myself in whatever the largest chair is in a semi-dramatic way. Mordecai, that bad already? Goodness. Hayden sighs and gets up to leave the room. <laughs> I give him a little kiss on the cheek as he walks out. <laughs> uh, he whispers in your ear to where only you can hear. Uh, Don't worry. <laughs> and then walks out. <laughs> First off, Vince is goddamn impossible to crack. Amends, amendments. Um, I honestly just tried the friendly without asking anything thing, just so mm -hmm. I can get like a rise and got a goddamn thing. Fiercely loyal. Good. And man, does that make me happy. We might have grace tonight. Oh? We okay. We might have grace tonight. Is that... Ooh. Is that going to be perceived as some sort of move? I don't want it to be a move. I'm here. You're here. Me too. You should be here more often. Absolutely. I just mean I can let Stefan know that this was part of it. Door opens. <laughs> Vince walks in. Is this yours? He holds a hamster by one of its legs. Is it alive? Yeah. Hey, it's okay. Um, it is, but I don't want it. Toss it to you. I catch it. It's so this is like a sentient one sent by Ratsack? Or you like, don't know that. It's just the it, hamster it's just that your drunk, hamster. drugged out people stole from an apartment you were in. Oh, this is so weird. We really need to return that. The hamster? Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying it wasn't, we, it wasn't, it Vince, was somebody. Vince makes eye contact with you and goes, <laughs> yeah. Guys. Like, please do not send me to put this hamster back. <laughs> Wait, so did they take care of the, did the attendants Yeah, they're up in a room, too? sleeping it off. Okay. Sleeping it off with okay. an IV attached for hiding. Oh, excellent. So good to them. So I just find like a vase or a pot or something to put the hamster in, I guess. Would I? Just to, just to keep it contained, not to kill it. I just, <laughs> just put a vase over it. Um, storyteller. Mm -hmm. Would I, in my political knowledge and... Like celerity, not celerity, that's not the word I'm looking for. But in my ness, no, mm, a rodent. That's probably going to make its way back. I don't know if you know Ratsack. Wasn't he at the party? He's at the party, but I don't know if you know him well enough to know what he does. Oh, okay. okay. That's, yeah, I guess that's what I was asking. The only one who has canonically been to the warehouse is Hank. Okay. So, um, as long as that thing is. 
contained. Obviously nowhere near the kitchen. I put it in a pot and put a lid on. I mean, nowhere else near the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you put it with... We can just release the blood outside. bags. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll I'll take a brief. I'll go take the yeah. Mm-hmm. I take the hamster to where to the room where the blood bags are. <laughs> Goodness. I don't think. And I'll wait until Cassandra comes back. I don't. I'll make us some drinks. I don't know who, if anyone's at risk right now, but I'm getting really concerned. I think that where we're at at this point, it went very poorly with Stefan tonight, and I'm going to find out what I can about that. And I don't think that she's made a move against him at all, and I've been trying to keep an eye out, but something is starting, and I'm worried about that for our sakes and for our master's sakes. Now, when your phone rings, <gasps> uh, it is Dahlia. <laughs> I step out of the room. I just, like, without saying a word, I just stand up and walk out of the room. As you walk out, I will, like, uh, Hayden, and have Hayden come back in. Um, you know, mistress? Put your piece of shit master on the phone. He's not answering my calls. I am not with him, but I can be. You are not with him? I am not. Where are you? I am trying to determine the reason for Damon's disrespect. I have no care for what the fuck is going on with Damon. I have the care for the insult given to my daughter, my youngest, by his audacity. I Did you deliver it? Did you put that in my girl's house? I tell me true, or I shall have your scrotum displayed oh my on my dresser. <laughs> what? No. Find out and make it right with Grace. Yes, ma'am. I will see her this evening. And let my son know that we don't need his fancy parties. And one more step out of line and I can just find a new prince. Yes, ma'am. Is that understood? Of course. Crystal. Good day. Good day. Well, it's hung up. So when, as he's outside, I give you your gift. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it presented? <laughs> it's in a little, like, um, like it looks like a little jewelry box. It's um, it's like a piercing for the penis. <laughs> Prince Albert. <laughs> I, mean, not... I didn't know if you had this piercing, but um, I've heard very good things about this particular piece of jewelry. So maybe you should get one. Oh wait, we lose all piercings if we don't already have them, don't we? You can. There is a way to force your body to not heal. Okay. <laughs> so. But proceed as, has one. Proceed as. <laughs> Would I know that? Yeah. I mean, I don't know why Do you. Do I wouldn't. know that? That's true. <laughs> You're a vampire. All vampires are a little bisexual. <laughs> I think Vince has the same one. <laughs> this exact jewelry. I mean, the like same the piercing? same kind of oh, jewelry. Okay. Yeah. I was curious before. Now I'm even more curious. You should be. I put it back and close it, and I put it in my pocket. <laughs> All right, we'll have a no one's done with this phone call. Uh, in the hallway, I will take a few deep breaths after Hayden mm-hmm. announces that and call Grace. <laughs> <laughs> All my notes are like. Hello. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so call so and so. Hi, Grace. Hi. How are you doing? Um, could have been better. Oh? Well, yeah, I'll just, it's, it's fine. I feel like this is something that perhaps we should discuss in person. 
Maybe. Are you amenable to that? If, if, if the casino's too far out of the way, we can arrange another location. I... Uh, Hayden, remind Dr. Kelvin that the casino is safe grounds for everybody. <laughs> yeah, opens the door. It's a reminder that the casino is neutral. Tank. I heard Hayden. <laughs> um, it, it sounds like you're you're well and truly occupied, uh, Kelvin. I really I wouldn't dare to impose on on your festivities. Grace, I promise um, you, I'm not. A respite would be welcome. Would you like the confirmed safe round, or would you prefer else? Um, I'll come to you. Excellent. Um, Vince, I assume, will meet you at the gate. He has a plethora of dogs. They are all immaculately well-behaved and excellent. Vince is a little bit standoffish and gruff, but it is for the best reasons. I cannot speak to Hayden. And I will see you shortly. Thank you. And I said that specifically because I know Hayden can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> is Grace coming? <laughs> yes, she's on her way. Yay! And I will very soberly like just tuck my phone back in my pocket and walk back in. Through. If you were done, I'm sorry. I was, I was, yes. I, I just realized I would never hang up before you. So I just realized you and Hayden are both naked. Exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's why. Because like, we can't get each other's secrets, so it's like a little sticking point for both. Of us. <laughs> so I'll walk back into the room. Um, as uh, has been announced, Grace will be joining us. <sighs> I'll be outside. Sir. Thank you. Can he be in New Mexico? No. <laughs> sorry. I really need to hold my composure. I'm so sorry, guys. I've been doing the same. Um, friends. Friends. Mm -hmm. Friends. I think we're all going to get a lot closer real quick. I have... Yes. <laughs> I did have my testicles threatened. <laughs> Um, in a fun way? Like in a, yeah. I'm not into that. <laughs> no. I tried it. I'm not into that. No. There's been an insult given, and I uh, just gotta figure out what that insult is. Oh, who did it this time? That's the question. Was it a verbal insult? Tell me someone just threw all this protocol shit out the window and said something to someone's face. Please. God, that would be a breath of fresh air. It was delivered, whatever it was. What? <laughs> nothing nothing uh, from Damon, Sandra? I mean, like I said, he's been so grumpy. He hasn't really shared any of his plans. Nothing from the Carthians? No. I mean, you know how slow the plotting goes. One idea takes 45 signatures, and getting 45 signatures takes roughly 49 weeks. So considering that the question came from the crones, that only leaves one party to, to which, what's the other one? The Lanky Sanctum Bishop. Um, Stefan's other brother could also be involved. Oh, I'm for whatever reason, I... Mixed up the Order Dracul and like there is the Order of Dracul as well. Mix the two of them up. I was thinking of yeah. Um, so that leaves us with two possibles if our intel's good. I I just think okay. You just said we're about to get all a lot closer tonight. Um, I'm gonna be frank with you guys. I think someone's pissing on someone's shoes and trying to call it rain. I think it's in their family fighting. <laughs> Do you you have some connections in our absence presently? If you do you think you can ask if there was an insult that they're aware of? Well, I mean, so what is the point of throwing this gauntlet down and then not taking credit for it? It's a fear factor. 
I just hate all these secrets. What does Michael know? That's what I'm saying. If he, there, if anybody, that whole party seems very on the dark end of things. So. I know, but it's the, I, I agree with you, and it's the crones that are making this accusation, which are also on the dark end, as far as... Do you think Ordo Dracul is making a move against the crones? All I'm saying is if we can eliminate one more group, that's only one left. It's Cassandra. Hey. <laughs> Just, hey. <laughs> He's not conversational. <laughs> I call you. <laughs> she doesn't have guys. She does not send. I, hey, she's a boomer. I, Give her a break. <laughs> she was she was in her thirties thirty years ago. Like, yeah, that does make sense. You really don't like texting, do you? I just feel like it's like uh, so much faster to have a conversation. Who's she on the phone with? I don't know. Uh, that was sudden. Do you want to come join us at the casino? It's neutral grounds. Aiden. The casino? Bring another guest. Oh, all right. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. You texted me. What's up? <laughs> I was going to say, what are you doing tonight? Yeah, we're at the casino. Oh, we are. Well, I'm here, and Calvin's here, and Ward's here, of course, because it's his place. Oh. I always forget he owns it. Uh, you don't party much, do you? <laughs> no, like, Vic just lets me party much? It really, it really doesn't. Yeah. Everything okay over there? Is he in a bad mood? Is this call being recorded? In a sense. <laughs> so is this this is my my personal cell phone so to my knowledge it was a joke no. oh okay um, this, victus is never in a good mood okay so it's not well he might be somewhat tonight he's gonna get to sleep inside a womb yeah he loves that um <laughs> I'm sorry, was that not clear? Uh, anyway, uh, sure, why not? Do they I are need to bring anything? Vampires. Vampires. Um, well, you no, know, I don't think you need to bring anything. I have a couple of people here, and I'm sure more has other refreshments. Cool. Um, then, yeah. Oh, head over. Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> I've called it far. Oh, wait, excellent. Michael's coming now. He shows up. Oh, damn it. Morning. Morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your Uber mail. Two points to his Uber phone. <laughs> <laughs> First home, then to the casino. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, you guys were saying. Sorry. I heard rumor that you have happy. That I have what? Uh, happy Van Winkle somewhere in here. Uh, it's a Jason. No. It's a uh, yeah. <laughs> happy family. I didn't what that was. I realized after I said it that I was like, I watch a lot of cocktail videos. This might not be as common knowledge as my brain thinks. <laughs> so it's an alcohol. Yeah. It is, it is oh, like, okay. it, It's a very hard to find <laughs> and like love, fancy whiskey. So your previous, I'm sorry, Jake. Yeah. Like, your previous. I forget. I, I spend a lot of time watching cocktail videos. Apologies. No, not um, at all. Your previous blush of life would have worn off, just so you know. Oh shoot! You can do it again. Uh, I will. You have been. So. I'll do it again. Um, I would very much like whatever the nicest whiskey you have is. We can do that. Feel a little human tonight. Ooh. There's a bartender. Yeah, and in the room with you. All motion with the bartender. Excellent. Uh, just one rock, please. Thank you. Is prepared and served. And for the lady. Oh, um, not nothing for me. Are you sure? Yeah. Everything is on the menu. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. You really know how to make a lady feel like a girl. 
I never remember the next day. That's why Morty hires me. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. I'll Which have a glass way? of uh, the house wine. Which way not, sir? Blood bag. Do you want to use the one that uh, the lady brought or something from our personal stores? Um, Cassandra, you wouldn't be offended if I go with personal stash, um, would you? Go for it. Very well, sir. Two? One. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking for cold blood or do you want somebody brought in? Is that not, can... not a person brought in, but... Cold blood. Yeah. Okay. That is served to you in whatever mug you prefer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <It's> Stein. <laughs> so I'm thinking our first collaboration should be like a speed dating event. We can have it here at the casino and we can recruit, you know, all kinds of different, you know, people obviously that come in the casino, but other, you know, t- Famous to sewn in people. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could raise money for charity because then we can get tax right now. That is an incredible idea. The charity side brings some positive light to everything. And then we just look fucking great doing it. So you guys discussed that for a while, <laughs> which gives enough time. Are you doing anything at your house? Sorry, we should have. You um, oh, that's okay. Let me message you. Okay. Uh, for you to arrive first, because she went to her house first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want home. Uh, what car do you actually pull up in? Truck. What? <laughs> well, you just said a ratty truck earlier, oh. and then you were like, no, it's a nice uh, truck. Like a new-ish, like, we're going Tundra, but like, not brand. Uh, Vince is there with his dogs and a valet uh, person. Just like, give him your keys. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You'll follow me. I don't know you. Nope. I'd just like to point out that bigger fish than you have been torn apart by my dog. Is that understood? Uh, I believe it. Tell him the And he just walks in silence after that. <laughs> what kind of dogs are they? Are you... I mean, this is... He starts kind of like talking about his dogs, like, like I any dog person. Yeah, I <laughs> to like this one's a mutt. He's this much this and this much that, and this one's like a little bit more purebred. But you know, blah blah blah. blah. He just kind of talks dogs at you, and so when he gets to the door, Vince is smiling and like shaking your hand as he lets you into can the I, room. Can I pet him? Does that? Oh, of course. I mean, like they they jump all over you once all right, they're yeah. given free reign. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> Mm-hmm. Have a nice evening, sir. You do. It was good. That was good talking. Hayden glides his gaze <laughs> over to you. I was snowed as fuck. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> well, that speaks volumes. Hey, how's it? What's wrong? Nothing. Okay. You entered the playing field. There's my Sorry. What game are we playing? That's a great question, and I'd love to know. Yeah. Okay. And have our characters formally met before, do you think? I don't... I feel like maybe we formally yeah. met. You guys met at the, the party, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I don't think we've, like, hung out. Hung out. We haven't, like, like done like my like Sandra and I are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I walk over and greet you. Welcome. Um... I'd hold up my cup. We've gotten started. Whatever you want is on the menu. Um, either side, as I kind of show you what I'm drinking. Literally. Hmm. Uh, Kelvin here ordered both a very nice whiskey and some some house wine, as I like to call it. Something of tequila. Mm. Would you like to do a body shot, sir? Sure. He picks up his shirt. Sure. Perfect ad. <laughs> Why not? Is this Hayden again? No, oh, it's the bartender. The bartender. Like, I missed it. Like, okay. So the bartender allows you to do cool. a body shot off of him? <laughs> I cool. dig it. Um, and then I'll... Uh, maybe some wine. House or... Dealer's choice. I really need to know if you want the house wine or a cabernet. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Um, 
I'll just go with Cabernet. Make sure you plush of life before you drink. Nope. Oh. Um. Seems like everyone else has had an eventful evening. What, uh, how's your night been? What brings you down? Um, I just asked Cassandra what she was up to. And yeah. But you guys were hanging out here. So. Mm-hmm. As you know, safe and neutral grounds. Um, and our healer is deaf, so Cassandra likes that. So we are free. Oh, God. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Grace. Why everybody's so into her. Any theories? Uh, I mean, she's new. And she's early to Dahlia, so. But I think the thing dancing around is Dahlia has never taken a female child. Who says that, Hayden? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Hayden. I mean, mm-hmm. maybe she's... She can Maybe she's looking to, like, boom her up with him. Or maybe she's scared I... something's gonna happen. I mean, they're called ancients for a reason. How old is Victus? My point exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to the Norway. <laughs> you, that much. Because he speaks lovingly of when they founded Norway. <laughs> he, uh, I, I don't know how old he is. That kind of proves my point. Did he send a gift, Michael? A gift? To Grace. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I don't think... Where did she even live? I have no idea, but there is a gift that was received. In the southwest, right? Southwest. Oh. Whatever southwest. you'd said earlier. Yeah. You said southeast east. when you lied. Is what no, I said southwest because she lived on the east side, right? No, Other she side. lived Other on the west side. You had said southwest. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, yes, I don't know. I'm this close to getting that address from her, though, so... To be perfectly fair, that means that we've eliminated four parties involved in whatever this gift is. I mean, it's not the gift that she got last night, right? That, like, box thing? Is that? Perhaps. But I don't... Victus didn't send that. Do you know what was in it? Didn't she pull it out when we all saw it? The state? It was, like a, it was a wand. It was an ice pick. pick. Ice pick. Covered in velvet. Yeah. Not covered in. Yeah. I think was it laying on, right? No, it was, no, it was covered. covered. It was a velvet-covered oh. ice pick. Oh. I thought it was laying on a bed of velvet. Okay. Just while you're doing that, uh, you arrive. Mm-hmm. Uh, he turns to you and says, I'll take care of it, ma'am. Um, the mistress suggested staying here for the evening. I and think so that, you can make arrangements for it. I think that's wise. Thank you. Aww. And I'll get out. I have changed into some combat boots and um, black jeans and a dark gray, like silver blouse. As you step out of the car, you're not greeted by Vince, but mm-hmm. a gaunt pale man wearing a black suit no tie uh his hair is kind of greasy kind of like swept to the side um and he has a smell about him of inhumanity and he goes we haven't met yet but it's important that i speak with all of you i would love it if i could walk in with you i don't think that's gonna happen who are you well eh, my name is morbid oh and I think it's in your best interest that you don't. Right. A girl can't do that. A girl can't be. I know careful. who don't serves. Like I said, a girl can't be too careful. 
put my hand in your arm. I look forward to it. And Grace walks in uh, with Vince kind of like jogging behind her, <laughs> with, uh, who you, the rest of you, would recognize as the necromancer Morgan. Stand up upon his entrance with a grin. Stand up. Oh, no need for any of that. I would make you stand if I wanted you to. What? Well, you've met Grace. Yes. Fast friends. Very fast. Morbid has a habit of that. Morbid, what do we owe the pleasure? There are concerns. Can I get another of these, please? <laughs> Can I switch to the house? <laughs> Uh, as soon as it comes over, I'm just going to hand it over to you. Deeply... It won't do anything but you'll want it. Deeply troubling concerns. And that's where we'll end tonight. Uh, I Woo! want to say thank you to everyone. <laughs> um, especially our patrons, who I have on a list called Patrons List. Um, also, congratulations to... Our newest tier, the mom tier, because my mom asked if she could have a higher tier so she could pay us more. Oh, no. We now have a, a mom tier, which is above best friends. So special shout out to the mom tier, which Yay. involves Yay. my mother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm signing my mother up for that. I'm going to say, I'm going to have to tell my mom about this. Right? Uh, and then Taku Arcana, Eric Fox, Duke Rec, Relin, Rockleman, Daniel, Dream Lover, Sparky, and Meepo, who are of a lesser tier. Uh, but still, still love, loved. Yeah. Um, but not in yes. maternal nature. <laughs> she like was like, how can I give you more money for your stream? I was like, can you do a new tier? And I was like, sure, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet of her. Yeah, it's funny. So uh, that's it for this episode. We're going to take a long break and then uh, we'll be back to it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and next week we'll be wearing the same clothes, right? Yeah, Everyone's going to wear the same outfits yes. next week? Okay. See you then. Bye. Bye.